Here we go. Welcome, everybody, back to Griff's Bar and Billiards in Las Vegas, Nevada. We are streaming the U.S. Open 10-Ball Championships, and we're down to 16 players. Down to 16 players. We got a nice field for you, too. It is a very interesting field, guys. Very interesting field. Uh, everybody's getting warmed up. And we got a nice... Yeah, we're live right now, buddy. Live right now? We got a strong field. The guys are just getting warmed up right now. I'm going to let you guys hang out while the players get warmed up. Throw my thumbnail on the video. We're ready to go. We are ready. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Roland Garcia hitting some balls, getting loose story of the tournament so far Oliver Ruger getting loose too somewhere in the room I saw him earlier maybe he's taking a quick break before they get started but I figured we'd go live just a hair early so everyone can kind of file your way into the chat before the first match starts first match of the day good morning everybody John Mora versus Albin Ocean ladies eat your heart out easy tiger Easy <laughs> What's up, KL? We are not started quite yet. We'll go to the full screen as soon as as soon as the players go to the lag. Check this out, guys. Boom. We, we got an overhead. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> What's up, Zach? Hey, it good morning, Tin Can Corner. Great morning. This is going to be the final day of the U.S. Open 10, Ten ball, ball Championships. Yeah, yeah. But the third day altogether, we good. KL, what's yeah, up? Good. good morning, Burton Robertson. Good afternoon. Hit the like, hit the share button, get the stream out there to all yes. you pool nuts. We got a if long day in store. If you're one of the 202 people that are on the stream immediately within two minutes of going live, I would assume you like the stream enough to click the like button and help other people find it. So get those thumbs busy. I understand if you can't, if you're indisposed and you just got it on a screen where you can't access the like button, but those of you that can, do what you can. We've been grinding and we're going to continue to grind as these players are. We're going to have a gr we got a great matchup in store to start off. One loss side action, Albin Ocean, John Mora, one of them will be out. You guys can check out the bracket at digitalpool.com, search US Open 10 ball. And uh, follow the brackets from there. At noon, we're going to start winner side matches. Uh, I think you got SVB Masial. Yeah, SVB Masial. For you fans out there. So it's going to really be good. Really excited to watch that one. Man, Alvin, moving that cue ball nicely. What's up, Jonathan? JJ? Morning, everybody. Good morning. Caden Long, stream just started. Perfect timing. That's what I'm talking about. There Calculated. You there you go. Calculated that perfect timing. Can't wait to watch these guys. Uh, some of the most deliberate players in the tournament. Yeah, for sure. Let's see. Uh, looks like we're going to the lag, guys. Here Let's we go. Let's go. Let's get it going. Over on Windows Open, we got Yuma Dormer versus Max Lechner here on the TV table for you guys. The feature table. Albin Ocean, Johnny Mora. Good Lord. How are you? How are you uh, pegging this matchup? Who you like here? Uh, honestly, John. Really? Yeah, I kind of like John here. Albin's seeming like he's been uh, struggling a little bit so far. Okay. Uh, John, in, in, what watched... in what regard? Well, just it seems like he doesn't. He didn't seem comfortable in the one match that he played on stream. I don't remember all, right. all the details because we watched a lot of pool in the last two days. But uh, right. but he didn't seem quite comfortable. And then I, I honestly though haven't seen John play. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just kind of going on a gut feeling here, but the way he's carrying himself this morning. Um, Look at that town max he, rack you got there on the table, buddy, he looks, by the way. Uh, looks comfortable, looks confident. Yeah, that new template. We're going to swirl in here Ooh. to the town. Look at that view. Max rack. Big sponsors of the event, sponsors of the 8-ball and 10-ball portion. Sponsor the whole event, but the racks we're going to use during look those two in particular. The cloth, man. Dude, look at that! Look at that zoom, man. Let's go. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Woo. Always improving, even though it's day number three. That's right. 
finally got an overhead. Holy hell, it was so Dude, that tough. Other, it was, it was that tough other, to figure out. That how to view do it. was brutal before. I know the one before yeah, was, it was impossible. Awful. All right, here we go. First to rack, John Mora to break. Alternate break, race to nine. I think the finals race to thirteen, which we will have later on this evening. Yes, that is that is for shout. That is for shout. <laughs> I think it's kind of hard for me to like gauge this one. Look at that break there from John. I was going to say, I'm not sure how. Uh, it's kind of chilly. No shot on the one after a great break by John. Two balls hanging in the corner. So it's going to be all about who can get to the one ball first. I'm not sure how Albin breaks 10 ball. I don't see him playing 10 ball a whole lot, you know? So, um, yeah. Play, plays mostly nine ball in. Hey, Ike, thank you so much yeah. for the heads up. I'll change the titles right now. It looks like it still says day two in the title of the video. Day two or day three. John looking to see if he can feather this one ball, bring it down table. Going opposite handed. It's not really opposite handed. Though. Well, it's going, you know, natural yeah, handed, I guess. He actually hits yeah, the ball yeah. better this way. Oh, oh speaking catching of. Catching the point. That's not what he but wanted to do at all. A little all. on the thick side. Yeah. A little on the thick side. Not what he wanted, but I'm not. Not terrible. Would Alvin, well, you think Alvin's banking in this five ball? He didn't call the five. Where do you play uh, safe? You can't get behind the nine from here. The five is a huge I kind of like I kind of like calling the five ball. Me too. To be honest, because it's such a and the, big the ball. The two sitting over the pocket too. Right. So how you end up on the one doesn't really matter. He looked over to the left. But I don't. I don't think I saw him formally call it unless he said it to John. We'll find out here. I'm thinking he's going at the five ball. I don't see why he wouldn't. It's wow. Are you and kidding he, me? And he hit it great. And he opens up the 210. Or Is sorry, he hooked? the 310. Is he hooked? Yep. No. You can tell You can tell by the look on his face. He's Come hooked, on. buddy. Alvin wears oh. his emotion on his sleeve, man. That's what... I, I love that about him, There's personally. A little, little frown <laughs> coming out, too. Wipe of the face. 10 a.m., Alvin. Turn that frown upside down. Yeah. Grab yourself a yellow Red Bull. Hey, they're not sponsors of the event, buddy. Relax. John's right? okay with it. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Red Bull, not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. Yep. If you guys want to get involved, give us a call. Post yeah. up. We're Check me out at postuplivestream.com. We're available. I mean, postuplivestream at gmail.com. Hey, I got to share your stream. What's the name of your page again? Uh, uh, oh God, I can't remember. It's uh, so much better than Windows Open, though. Oh, God. Here we go. It's already starting. It's already starting. Touchy jump. Real nice. Oh, look at his cue ball. Going to come off the rail straight in on the three. Beautiful shot. Holy crap. I missed it. Can you replay it? I nope. was looking at my phone. Nope, not for you. I was looking up the name of your stream. I can't. Yeah. Dang. If only it was. I found it, buddy. Oh, thank God. Found it. I was okay. getting nervous there for a second. All right, here we go. Big shot here from from Albin. It's, it's gotta, actually kind of a hanger. The, the four. Wait, you got to draw back though. You, no, it's it's on the right side of the pocket. So you got to draw back a little bit. Not really. The, look go. where the five is, man. Come on, Mike. Stop looking at your phone. Look at the table. Sorry, I was too busy looking up the name of this. Yeah, I get it. Janky stream you got here. Whatever happened to POV Pool? Do they still exist? I I know Daniel Bush is still. Uh, he's actually got a. a Job, job. Yeah, yeah, I thought so Down too. In Los Angeles, he's a working <clears throat> yeah. man now. Welcome. One of my favorite streams to watch, though, man. Yeah. The yeah. Tony versus uh, Dennis match. One of my, I mean, love. One of your favorite ones one to pocket. go back to. Yeah, I'll still watch it. Watch. I'll it's still watch. So rewatchable. Sure, yeah. yeah, you could just pull up any of those yeah. days. It's a good, good match. Albin Ocean looking to. Uh, this would be a break and run, right? Speaking of one pocket, there's Brent Worth in the chat. The guy. Hey. The guy. I, at Junior Nationals, hit one of the sickest one-pocket shots I've yeah. ever seen in my life. Yeah, 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 yeah. That nobody ever saw him. I heard about it. Yeah. Good morning, Ken Harwell. What's up? This nice. is a break run ski, right? He, he, no, 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 no. Johnny, oh, John. John broke the balls, yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. He thinned the... Uh, well, thinned. Tried his, to thin the one yeah. ball, but hit a little thick. Right, right. And gave uh, Alvin the opportunity with a, an amazing cut shot on the one ball. Good out, though. Two Singapore dollars from uh, Aaron Lake. Nice. 
Appreciate Coming that. Coming in with a super chat. What's up? Thank you. Thank you, man. Thanks to all you super chat fans out there. Collins bought me dinner last night. <laughs> that was actually from the Venmos and PayPals. Thank you, guys. Yeah. yeah. Super chat takes a month to hit the account. Well, either way, we appreciate it. It was a good dinner. So. Yeah. Yeah, let's keep an eye on these scores early on. See how things are shaping up with these other matches going on. I mean, we're going to have, like, what is it, four or five people go home right now? So, yeah. Good evening from Norway. What's up, Kenneth Midland? Welcome, welcome. All right. Yeah, yeah, Killer B got me. <laughs> Get it right, Collins. Windows open knew it wasn't a break and run, and I'm over here dogging you for not knowing he couldn't or he wasn't going to have to draw that ball mm. back. Kind of a wild break there from Albin. Yeah, the two balls ended up in no man's land. What is this new rack called? Let me show you. Well, since you asked. The Taum max rack i think that's the the uh, nine and ten ball rack and they also got an eight ball rack we'll be giving some away i think on the stream yeah we'll give some away to some we viewers can find a way to give some away yeah we can ship some it's got to be a creative way to do that you're the creative one of between us two clearly yeah what do you like here buddy I, uh it, the push is tough I feel like wherever you push to is almost uh, oh he's trying to tie up the four ten, the four ten and seven. I'm giving that, this that push out. No, no, I'm not giving this. You're back. never giving this. I'm back. coming back all, around by the by the four by the four seven. Yeah. yeah. That was my point. Is it's going to be real easy to play safe, but I think Alvin was counting on keeping these balls tied up. So not only would you have to deal with, you know, the two ball after you play safe, but then also if you get ball in hand, it's still going to be a tough run out. But gonna, all those balls still go. Uh, not not quite good enough here. John don't like it. Two saves. Sean says, Mike, I think all mods deserve one. I'm assuming Sean would be a mod. If he's got a if he's got a wrench next to his name, yeah. he's a mod. Okay. <laughs> Same with Steve Griffith. How many mods do we have? Uh like eight. We might be able to work some out. At least we can give like four four. If you got eight mods, I'm sure I can give four. So you got 50 50 shot maybe, here. Maybe. Well, yeah. We don't want to. We don't want to exclude the rest of the chat. I'll no, 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 no. I'll, I'll, I'll have, the rest of the I'll chat have more for the rest of the chat for sure. Yeah, maybe I can figure out how to yeah. do like one of them uh, chat raffles. I've never done one before, so I can't commit. So because I might not have time to learn, but if I catch the time, then then I'll figure it out. Yeah, but we'll, we'll figure, figure something out, out yeah. to get you guys involved. And and uh, so far. Uh, haven't heard let me let me put it this way i haven't heard a single player say anything about the template which in my mind is a really good thing oh yeah 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 yeah. because if there's something not good about it they're gonna let you know right away you mean right pull, away pull players complain yeah never heard that before so uh yeah if it allows them to focus on the game then that means it's doing its job yeah Welcome back, Facebook. I tell you what, buddy, that whole Facebook thing this morning, I don't know if you saw that, but... What? Logged everybody out of Facebook. Oh, I did, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you got that mic, like, pointed right at right you. Right here? Okay. Here? Oh. Take a photo? Oh. All right. So I'm right going to have it so close. Ooh, we got a rail. Got a rail. Is that two ball frozen? Tough to tell from here. If he calls for a hit, I gotta go. They're big boys. They'll be all right. It looks frozen to me. It looks pretty frozen.
trying to stick him, uh, stick him behind the five. That's pretty dangerous. He calls the two. It is going to bank long with the new cloth. And watch that double kiss. The double kiss scratch, right? Yeah. Yeah. Trying to cinch him behind the five here. This is a really touchy, touchy shot. Nice what, shot what there pro. from Albin. Look at the two What way. a pro. He hit that pretty good, man. Got a lot of mileage out of that World shot. World class. John's going to be struggling to get over this five ball with a jump shot. Uh, honestly, the two guys in the room that could probably do it, well, not Federer anymore. He's not in the room. Who was the other guy that was jumping real close yesterday? Was it Carlo? I mean, Carlo does everything good, so yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Yeah. I heard that uh, from a little birdie that uh, Federer skipped town after losing to Oliver Ruger yesterday. Wow. Oliver made Federer leave Vegas, huh? Yeah, I heard I heard from a little birdie named Federer. Ah. That something came up. Wow. Wow, that look so at that. Short. That went so short. He was expecting it to go way long, and I'm assuming he, he accidentally put a touch at left or check side spin on that. Yeah. Albin Ocean looking to take things two to zero real quick here. Above the three, around the eight. Cue ball's going to get away from him already. Look at this. It's that slide, man. That slide, yeah. Takes a nice deep breath. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh. John's looking real interested. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret in the chat. Someone, a couple of people said, dang, that table is fast. The cloth on the bed of the table was put on this morning. Mm. Mm. I mean, I yeah. This morning, huh? So there was a little incident. Interesting. This morning, you don't say. Yeah. But we're lucky that Griff's is the best, and, and they have some of the most reliable table mechanics in town. But this is a fast table right now. Going for the early 10s. Not going to pan out here. Four ball goes past the eight in the corner pocket for sure. But good lord, that is a thin cut from far away. You think he's going? Yeah, I think he's going, yeah. Well, he went. He went. It's not going to leave. Well. Six ball going to jack up over the, or sorry, cue ball over the six. Not quite. He shot the one ball earlier. He's shooting this ball. Yeah. <laughs> Corey Buchanan just sent me a text. I got to show you guys.
He says, uh, this is for all the people in the chat asking about the post up fanny pack. Postupmerch.com. He says it came in big handy. It came in real handy last week at the uh, BCA National Championships. <laughs> oh, man. You know what I think when I, when I look at Corey with that fanny pack on? First, I think, right after Alvin shoots. Oh, you scratched. You need new right away. Wow. God, that bit a lot. Yeah. The cloth, man. You know what I think? The cloth, Nerd. Huh? Nerd. And I love you, man. <laughs> Big turn of events. Rack Seems like we've been playing for a while, but you know, a lot of drama. Yeah, drama in, early days. Both racks. It's gonna see which player can adjust to the little bit of extra slide quicker. Why aren't we watching Ruger? Good question, Ben. But it's tough to not want to watch these guys. Come on, they both play world class pool. Coming in hot. Yeah. Ooh. He'll be he'll be all right here though, but good shot there from center down. of the hole. One one. Breaking each other's serve. It was a good jump by Albin, but golly, did that yeah, thing draw? Yeah, just the, it, it, it pulled off the tangent line a little bit just because the. Uh, Extra slide. Albin having a little coffee. That actually doesn't sound so bad. You want? Oh, you already got a Red Bull. I'm gonna go get some coffee, man. Hey, you do your thing, cause I'm about to go get lunch here in a minute. Really? You hungry already? No, I'm not. I got a got a meeting. I got a oh, you got a meeting. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Hoity toity, Oliver Ruger. Let's keep an eye on this match on the side as well. What do you say? Well, th though I think the winner of that match plays Josh Filler. So we were talking about where we're going to put that match in case it happens. This one. What's the score? I don't know. Let's see. Let's go check out digitalpool.com. Search U.S. Open 10 balls 1-1, Oliver and Danny. 2-0, Max Lechner over Yuma Dormer. Danny Lazowski, 2-0 over. Sorry, Dennis Lazowski, 2-0 over Billy Thorpe. Kid's 18 years old from Germany. Wow. Yep. Take that kid on the road. It looks real unassuming, man. Here we go. Plays great pull, clearly. All right. See how the break works for John Morrow with he, the slick cloth. He broke good the first time. Just didn't get a shot on the one. Square. One ball is a, at a decent speed here. It's going to have a cut. If the six ball doesn't get in the game. Six ball is very much in the game. Yeah. No real places to play safe unless it lays good to do this kind of move. It's so touchy with a new claw. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It has to lay really good. Yeah. I think it lays good, you know, but it, it's just you've got to really, really make sure, you know. And, yeah, and, and you also got to make sure that you don't hit it thin enough that it sends the one at the three and you accidentally make the three. Right. Well, see, if I'm playing the shot that you described, I'm just trying to get that one ball off the rail. That's the speed that I'm playing it with. And then I'm trying to bury oh, it Oh, real behind. slow, like yeah. a one-pocket shot. Right, exactly. Yeah. But I think in rotation, these guys are generally going to try to hit it in a way where the one's getting way down here. And the cue ball's... He's calling it. Wow. He's calling the cut shot because the three's hanging in the side pocket and the four is hanging in the other side pocket. Aggressive. So posi position does not matter in the next two, two to three shots. Well, it ain't going to matter right now because he's going... You could get a kiss off the six and scratch with the slippery cloth. Yep. Yep. Good call, buddy. Oof. Or, or Unbelievable. How do you end up right there?
Well, he's going one rail at this one. Yeah, obviously you're calling the ball. The yeah. four ball, unfortunately, for this kick is uh, is sitting on this side of the side pocket. So if you kick this way, the cue ball is going to be drifting down here, leaving no shot. If it's possible to kick this way, it is possible to catch this side of the three so the cue ball kind of dies on this side of the pocket. But it's a very small window. So it looks like he's kicking off the long rail, or sorry, the short rail, which I'd imagine he's going to go at some pace here because the cue ball is not going to be, or or extremely slow. One of the two. Going at pace, it's really tough to judge how the cue ball is going to slide. Oh, look at that angle. Oh, oh my God, how do you hit it and the ball doesn't go? Wow. That is not fair, man. I would have never... In a million years, thought that was possible. Yeah, me too. Looking over, looks like SVB's in the room, warming up. Yeah. Yes, we are live, Marco. Live from Las Vegas, Nevada. Griff's Bar and Billiards. Take it easy, Tofu, man. We're, we're here to have fun. We're not here to, to throw shade at other people that are just trying to have fun with us. <laughs> hey hey where's that cue ball that's some fast cloth man is the lighting so good or is it the camera lens what camera lens combo are you using it's uh it's both I'd say Yusuf it's uh SMTAV PTZ camera but the lighting here is fantastic on this table. Real nice shot. Real nice cue ball. Sliding the cue ball off the rail so he can comfortably get to the middle or bottom of the cue ball to slide the stop or slide the, the cue ball towards the six. I would think you'd want to get a little bit closer to the six because the positional window on the eight ball is fairly small. Positional window on the eight ball there being somewhat in this area to be ideal. So I'd imagine you'd want to get fairly close to the six, ideally on this side of the six, somewhere in this area, I would think, so that you can use the long rail to play like this. It's the most natural way to lay good on the eight. But... Albin, of course, is going to weigh the percentages in his mind, and if he feels good, better about, you know, doing less with the cue ball on the five, could also play here. The problem with this shot is, on the fast cloth, the uh, speed of the cloth becomes an issue when you're playing into a smaller positional window. So let's see what he does. He just punches and gets rather straight. This is going to be tough to play speed here. I would not be surprised if he just decides to come above the 10 and play the 8 this way. And that's what he does. Takes the longer, slightly tougher shot on the 8 ball. It's a great. Yeah. 
Beautiful stuff from Alban Ocean. I mean, obviously both players overhitting the ball just a touch on quite a few shots, but I'm sure they'll settle into the conditions. Brandy Beckett doing well. Good to see you. Good to see you. Bob Yunker with the $5 super chat. $5 for a cup of coffee or a slice of pizza with pineapple. What's up, Bob? Thanks, man. That's Jay Helford in the chat. What's up, Jay? Where are you these days? Can you guys show the remaining balls on the board and on the screen as well? Stanlin, uh, I know that's a great idea if you have a team, but I'm running all the cameras and the overlays and everything myself, so it's, uh, you know, it's a lot to keep track of while I'm talking about the game and talking with you guys in the chat. So I've decided against that for this stream or for my stream in general. Oh, just hanging out at home. All right, relaxing. Nice relaxing day for Jay Helford. Enjoying some... Uh, World-class 10-ball. After this break, we'll take a quick look at Oliver Ruger's table. Oliver Ruger and Danny Olsen. Looks like Oliver's running out over there. He's moving pretty quick around the table as well, that tall guy. Second ball in the side pocket. One ball dressing up perfect in the in the corner. Nice little lovely kiss, half ball kiss to straighten things out for Alvin Ocean. And uh, John Mora is going to be sitting in his chair for a minute. Just waiting. Get that score update on the Oliver Ruger match. Danny Olsen up two to one, it looks like. Possibly changing right now. Maybe Oliver just finished. It looked like he was running out there, so possibly two to two on this table. Alvin a little less than thrilled with where he's ended up on the four ball because makes this four, five, six, seven sequence a little bit interesting. Got to play speed here. Speed control is everything on this shot. And he hits it absolutely perfect on the new cloth. Easy game. Is that Fetter in the chat? What's up, Fetter? Is it actually Fetter? Let me see here. Yeah, Jay, Jay Helfert, you met me at California Billiards for the OnePocket.org stream. You sat in my booth and we talked for a few hours. There it is, Alvin Ocean taking a notable lead in an alternate break format. Two games spread. Thank you, Jay. Yeah, we try to keep it really relaxed and interactive and then talk about the game when it gets interesting because, uh, frankly, uh, for this style of stream, the game, I don't know, most most of the people that watch this channel are, are quite avid players. 
Let's check out that Oliver Ruger Danny Olsen situation. Oliver making balls again. We also try to follow as much of the tournament as possible since we have access on all these other cameras. Looks like Oliver's going to get out and take a 3-2 to two lead. Let's check out this break from John Mora. And we'll swap back to full screen. hi -ya. One ball just screaming towards the short rail. Five ball going to get out of the way. Seven ball again. Second time John Moore is broken and put the one ball in a decent spot. And the ball gets in the way in between the, uh, the one ball and the pocket that would be ideal to shoot it in. Unlucky. Who is Oliver playing? He's playing Danny Olson, Alex M. Danny Olson. Yeah, the, the table has been refinished. Just the bed of the table has been refinished. There was an incident between last night and this morning uh, that required a refinish. So it's brand new cloth, super slick. What's up, Randy Walker? Welcome to the chat, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jay. That is extremely kind of you to say. Coming from you, that is a huge compliment. Here we go, John Mora. I'm surprised he's queuing low here, honestly. I'm assuming he's going to hit the top of the ball, right? He cheated the pocket and decided to draw the ball. So that was interesting, guys. That was really interesting because I would have thought that he would have cheated the pocket to this side so that the cue ball could follow like this to the two. But he decided to cheat the pocket to this side and draw the ball and drag it up the rail and if he can see this two ball, it really uh, kind of worked out for him because he's rolling towards the four. Six might be in the way, though. Interesting spot for John Mora. He's, he's addressing the ball as if he can see it. So let's see what we can do. Nick DeLeon finding his way into the back door of the booth. This is awesome. Yeah, John overcutting the ball. He had to dig into that one, so kind of making the stroke uncomfortable. And it's a complete sellout to uh, Alban Ocean here. John's going to be probably visibly frustrated. Shake of the head there, you can see. Danny oh, Olsen hey, seems so content good. in his chair. Danny Olsen seems, uh, you know, he's, he's fighting in that match, but seems ready. Oliver Ruger currently up 3-2 to two versus Danny Olsen and at the table. The only reason I'm acknowledging that match so much, by the way, guys, is Oliver Ruger is the guy that sent both, all three, Tony Chohan first, then sends Fedor Gorspakin, and then sends Alex Pagulayan to the rail. Yeah, Hill Hill, last yeah. night. Yeah. Match after match after match, we're talking Oliver Ruger versus Danny Olsen right now. It's a, a hell of a run so far for him. It'd be interesting to see if he can keep it rolling. Yeah, Man, the alternate break format changes things. Yeah. How's your tournament going? Don't you have a match coming up? Yeah, I'm sitting in the top 12 right now. Everybody say hi to Nick DeLeon. What's going on, guys? Camera's right up there. Give him a little wave. What's up? What's up? Yep. <sighs> Alban Ocean looking really comfortable here. Yeah, you can't give him chances. Like, you, if you don't... Well, the, like, did you watch the beginning of this match? Yes. Yeah, the, the brand new cloth is really messing with them. I, well, I mean, like, Alban should be used to it. Well, I mean, he's adjusting quickly. You can see his cue yes. ball's gotten better rapidly, but but uh, early days in this match, there were all kinds of funny slides that they weren't expecting. Obviously, overrunning the cue ball a fair amount, but seems like he's hitting the ball pretty good right now. Yeah, Alvin is probably the advantage here. Just once the new cloth caught on, I, that's how I feel. Yeah. It's 
especially with this this slidey clock yeah here, like this you don't balls. have to hit it that hard yeah cinching this ball is pretty easy to get it to the other side of the 10 ball here or back and forth oh no duh duh <laughs> <laughs> typical 600 fargo overthinking the shot no just simple straight yeah. over the side especially with new clock you don't want to do anything did collins miss another super super chat guys the chat moves so quick Thank you, thank you, go. thank you. Who'd we miss this time? Draw two rails. $20 there. super chat coming in from Stephanie Paul. Been asking if you got my Venmo yesterday, but so super chat for an answer and more candy. Stephanie Paul, thank you so much. I think I did. Here we go. Alvin takes advantage of the mistake by John. Stephanie Paul, I did. You're an angel. Thank you so much for the support. And coming in with a 499 wheelman in the chat says, "Here's 499 for your efforts and time. Thank you, thank you, thank you." Albert Ocean finding the 10 ball. Who did all the graphics? Uh, so everything that we've used that I've used is from the original themes of the uh, the promotional material that Fast and Loose Designs put together. Oh, that's awesome. The animations, I commissioned a few freelancers, and uh, and actually the on-screen overlays, I, I did the work myself pulling them from the themes of the... Uh, of awesome. The, uh, uh, Ooh, the original promotional the overlay. material. Yeah, we, nice. got, we got the new overhead, yeah. So let's check out the break, guys. I can kind of give you guys a little information. Let's see what those first two balls do after the one ball. He made one of them, which is good. That's all you're trying Q to do. Two ball just getting kissed and corralled back yeah. to a good position. Or a reasonable position, I should say. Yeah. Uh, just quick taking a look at uh, Roland Garcia and uh, Carlo, Carlo Beato. Beato hitting some balls as well. Oh. Are they waiting for their opponent? Or? Yes. Yeah, we're all sitting in top 12. Okay, gotcha. So then we've only got... Uh, what matches are going right now? Just uh, just the three. Uh, Max and uh, I forgot the guy named this Whoops. playing match. Sorry, guys. Here we go. Alvin and John Mora, Billy Thorpe, and I don't know the guy that he's playing name. And then... Um, oh, right, because they're playing... Uh, if you want to see the Max Lechner with um, uh, Yuma Dorner, you can check that out on Windows Open on, a, on Facebook. So go to yes. Facebook and search Windows Open. That's live right now. Uh, Dennis Lazowski is playing Billy Thorpe currently on the table to our left as we're looking on the camera right now. And then, obviously, the uh, Danny Olsen-Oliver Ruger match. By the way, Danny Olsen-Oliver Ruger, the winner there, plays the Killa. Killa. Man, Lee Van Cortez, man. Yeah, Lee Van Cortez. He, he came with some really good outs last night. Yeah, really, really tight, tight. Yes. Strong, moving, and grinding runouts. Jay Helfert, thank you for the $10 super chat coming in from Jay Helfert. Says, love it. Well, we love you guys. And Jay, thank you for everything you've done for the game. Well, yeah. Will this wrap up today? Yes. We're yes, going to finish today. Final day. And then eight ball starts tomorrow. Yes. And, guys, if you're watching right now and you want to watch the finals, it is going to be streamed exclusively on Griff's TV, Griff's Bar and Billiards, on YouTube. So make sure you get over there and subscribe so it's easy to find. Oh, see, guys, this is what I'm talking about. Like, watching Alvin play on New Cloth will give you ideas of what to do with the cue ball and what not to do with the cue ball like mm -hmm. see how simple it did yeah he's playing a tougher shot he could have came around but it's just very simple because you don't have to gamble on the cue yes, ball. yes correct yeah. what is my cash app cash app venmo and paypal links are in the video description both on youtube and facebook now just some thanks draw for asking, or thanks just for some support. a bottom right Doesn't even matter if he's way above the ball. No, it doesn't. He's uh, a ball is perfect. I sitting. think he's dead straight in actually. Look at this. Yeah, nice setup, bro. Look at this, dude. Perfect cue ball. Oh yeah, perfect. Just stun over just a little bit. And then now you're gonna come up one rail, or you can come up two rails. I like using the side rail to come into the ten. Check out the mechanics of the swing right here. 
so simple, so smooth, so straight, yeah. so clean. Wow, looking to extend to a 5-1 to one lead and making me eat my words when I liked John Moore in this match because I yeah, heard he was playing good. He, yesterday he was playing fantastic against um, FSR. I was right next to him playing when I lost yeah. to um, Vitaly. I broke yeah. bad. Well, don't do that. No, I, that, I, I stayed 30 minutes after work on my break, and I got here early to work on my break. So here, hopefully. Here's, here's a tip, Nick. Don't break bad. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. I feel like I'm playing better than I've ever have, and I just, the break was getting me. John looking a little bit less than satisfied with the way that this match is going. Yeah. Trying to sort out the break, sort out the conditions. Is he having trouble on the break? Uh, actually, he's making balls, but uh, goofy, and, and actually playing decent speed on the one ball and cue ball, but funny things are happening. Like, two of the breaks, a ball came in between the one and the pocket, you know? Okay. Uh, let me see. All right, let's check it out. First two balls, guys. This is what you want to pay attention to when you're breaking 10 ball, especially with the magic crack. In the hole. Bad kick. Bad kick. Oh my goodness, that is so gross. Yeah. I mean, you can't you, just, you can't do anything about that. It's just it's just unlucky. Like that's the only term that you can use for that. I mean, his yeah. cue ball was across to the other side of the table, and the ball kicks it in. It's gross. I had that happen to me in the um, the Swanee. Same thing. I broke, parked the rock, and I got kicked all the way in the corner. I'm like, how is that possible? <laughs> up a replay of that in a second year yeah uh, after that i think john moore is going to go on tilt a lot of people players would because alma's going to run this out and then he breaks next rack so you could possibly be down seven one by the time you get to the because of that kick in yeah. dude we got a bunch of other people coming in in the chat goofy limey mcvelt I, I, I can't read the whole name thank you for the twenty dollars $20 super chat and broker Bryce buy yourself some pizza and pineapple again today. Thanks for the stream. <laughs> Thank you guys. Just a, a word for the wise on YouTube. If you're, if you want to do a, a, you know, a nice cheap little super chat, uh, modest size super chats are great, but YouTube does take a, a decent size cut of it. So uh, direct support on Venmo, PayPal, cash app is the best way to go. Ooh, he came out a lot there. I thought he was going to go around the tent. Just before people get too carried away on the super chat, I've had people send me fifty bucks and then learn out learn later that YouTube takes like twenty of it. You know, so. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's. So he's gonna have to miss the seven here. See if he draws all the way across, or if he goes between the seven and the ten. Yep, that's what I like doing. That was perfect. Yeah, he has this new clock dialed in. He's a little Whoa, straight. Oh, he's actually he way too straight. Hold on a second. I don't he is, but I cut this ball in the side pocket. Oh, does it go on the side? Yeah. yeah, okay. Easy peasy. Great shot, never in doubt. Oh, it's thin. It's a small hole. Oh, it is. It's a small hole here. He's, if he's drawing going... it too. I'd follow it. It looks like he's drawing it. Oh, wow. good shot. Real nice. Good speed. You know, he put a touch of left spin he on did. it to, to put gearing English. What he did right there, guys, he put left spin so that the ball would be... Sp whoops. My bad. So that the ball would be spinning like this in this direction when it hits that this pocket left. face right there. So it throws it into the hole. Little bit of the subtleties that the pros all know and take advantage of that that uh the rest of us you know Alba's might definitely need to do some learning on a lot better today than he was yesterday yeah he didn't look comfortable yesterday no, he, didn't. he didn't at all yeah i mean him and al and him and mario he were um were like having a pizza while they were playing their match like they were just like sharing a pizza and uh -huh. like <laughs>
quick updates on these other matches right here. Oliver Ruger running ball. Oh, no, that's not Oliver. They're just no. dressed similar. <laughs> <laughs> they just have a similar shirt on. Oh, right. they're both tall, too. Yeah, they Danny are. Danny Olsen running balls here. He's got kind of a, you know, mildly thin cut in the side. Yeah, going to run the cue ball. three rails. Going to run the ball. Easy peasy. Yeah, he was wearing those kicks yesterday. I was like, and then um, and then Filler walked in with the same kicks, just a different color. So I don't know. The old Nikes are coming back in style. Billy Thorpe just waiting, waiting for his chance. He looks pissed. <laughs> Come on, it's Billy Thorpe. Uh, life in Buick. Hello, Collins. How was the pineapple pizza last night? It was great. A little couple jalapenos on there. Ooh, a couple kisses out of the middle of the yeah. table. One ball's going to dress up nicely, though. Cue ball's creating some distance. Three ball not going to tie up with the five and seven. Two no ball trouble. in a weird spot. Two no, ball. No trouble for this guy. Two ball still in a uh, what would you say uh, a spot that you might think about. You just got to take note. He could play behind it. I like going behind it. Gives you a little bit more freedom with the cue ball on the shot with the two, you know. Especially since the four is above it, right? Let's see how he plays it with the slide. He went above oh, it. Oh, he went up. Wow, but he's got the perfect angle yeah, where the four does. ball doesn't matter. What speed control. Holy crap. See, guys, he didn't have to play perfect. He just needed to get to the middle of the table so he can make the three ball. Yeah. The five ball goes, it looks like. You can also... Uh, or you could draw into the seven. Yeah, you could just hit the top half of the seven and everything's going to be okay because it's definitely going to clear out. You know yeah. what I mean? It'll clear this direction yeah, and, you don't, and you, don't have to worry, you don't have to worry about tying balls up, you know? Yep. Just like just that. Just like Perfect. that. Perfect. Good just night, folks. Just like that. It actually makes the run out easier, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. He doesn't have to yeah. you know, barely go buy a ball. Doesn't have to negotiate anything. Everything's just out in the open. Wow, he's got it dialed. Yeah, he's... Wow. He's, yeah. I'm telling you, once he gets dialed in on this new felt, it, he's he's very unstoppable. It's my birthday week. I'm going to be 43 on Friday. Celebrating all month. Going to play some pools. Searching for a tournament now. Or one <laughs> on one. Anyone near South Carolina. Ooh, we got someone calling something out in the chat. Is this game loser side? Yeah, everything that's active right now currently is one loss side. If you want to check out the bracket, the link is in the video description. What's up, Chris Lulick? I actually, that reminds me. I want to read a comment to you guys <laughs> just to show how great the internet is. Look at this. I mean, he's, he's getting perfect on every ball, every angle. Dead perfect. Yeah. Check this out, Nick. Go around three rails. Don't get straight. Oh, came a little short, but he should be fine. He's just going to go up and down with just top English. It'll move the ball a little bit to the left. Or he could go outside English and come on the right side. <laughs> Look at this comment. It's in the video description. I got a comment on one of the streams yesterday. It says, where is the bracket? I'm so tired of horrible coverage in pool tournaments. Oh my <laughs> and it's, goodness. It's literally in the video description. <laughs> Not a lot of people read everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alvin Ocean, ladies and gentlemen. You can tell when John is uh, oh, not having a good time. Yeah. He keeps standing up from the the rack, but when he's in, when he's dialed in, he just like hops down there and, and gets in there. Yeah. You know, he had a bad kiss. The cue ball landed on the literally 
this left, this bottom rail, and I, I think the three ball came around three rails and kicked it in the opposite um, side pocket. Here's that new template, the town max rack. What do you think, Nick? How do you like the template? Uh, I'll tell you the truth. I'm struggling a little bit with it. Really? Um, well, you said you were breaking bad in one yeah, set. No, I mean right? like no, no. I'm, I'm like my cue ball's good. It's just that I'm. It's I've never had to adjust so much with those first two balls going past the side pocket. So like normally. Yeah, but isn't that also possibly because the cloth is so new? It's a possibility, but I never had an issue with it with anything else. So it just I don't know like. It's a good, you know, the, it gets the balls tight. The balls are not loose. Every ball is touching. It's great. It's just that I have to take a little time and I have to adjust hmm. with it. So my ball, my balls yesterday were going past the side pocket a lot. Yeah, I, from what I remember, from what I remember, when cloth is goes from being really old and used to brand new, the balls on the older cloth tend to come here. And then on the newer cloth, they want to go here, so you have to put like more, like a high ball on it, right? So it, so, so it throws, it the, it it throws the second it ball up. this way, right? Yeah. So I think I was doing, I was staying to my my, my coming up on, on the bottom. Yeah. And that's why they were going too far. So I have yeah. to, I have to start higher, so I come and more up pop. Yes, yeah. 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 So just adjusting, but I just right. never had to do it before, sure. even with new cloth. So this was a little different for me. Yeah. 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 But it's a learning, you know. Everybody, you know, it's it's learning for me for sure. Like, cause now I'm like, okay, if I'm using this rack on new cloth, it's gonna be different than yeah. using an like, actor rack or you know anything right. else. Right, right, right. I went good. Like I said, I stayed afterwards. Um, I lost last night and tried to figure out the break. I broke for probably like 45 minutes straight, and then this morning I got in early and practiced some more. So um, just adjusting. He had to go for it there. Yeah. There was no other choice. Alvin could thin this ball and put him right behind the nine. Or he's going to back cut it like a sickle like Tony Chohan would do. Oh, Is he really thinking about back cutting this ball? Yeah. You run right into the... Um, and just blowing everything wide open and gambling on the two ball? It's a thin cut. Uh -huh. The cue ball is going to be screaming if the one ball gets to the pocket. Yeah, but I think he's running into the three ball really thick. Combo? Just play the one, two, ten combo. No, yeah, I'm, just, I'm right? joking. I'm joking. Right? Obviously, he would be playing the one, two combo. The one, two punch. It looks like he's using, like he's trying to. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, wow. He hit that ball so smooth. Yeah. And then John Moore is like, really? What sucks about this, you can't mass A because the, the slide. I mean, he's going to try. Oh, it's going to jump. It's, oh, I like the jump. He has to be higher than this. In my no, opinion. I, I think, I think no, it's good. I, no, because if it jumps twice. Oh, no, good shot. Look, look at this. Look at this shot. Wow. Good shot. I thought it was going to I thought it was gonna hop, hop, and go in the pocket yeah, because he was, yeah, yeah. Not low, he was not high enough. But he hit it good. I think he's going to have to shoot this in the corner to get shape for the three ball. I don't think he's going to want to travel on this slidey cloth. I would shoot in the corner. Hey, guys. Guys, guys. Take it easy on the guy in the chat that's trolling me. This is actually one of the rules of my chat. I am literally the only person that you're allowed to... Uh, aggressively insult with no sarcasm. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if they do. I really don't. It's fine. Let them do it. But if, if they start doing it to anyone else in the chat, I'll, I'll lay down the ban hammer.
a good shot by John Moore, especially really with his uh, being down. I mean, I like it with new cloth. I like to be on the rail over here to the left side. Yeah. Because it's easy because the ball's going to take with that outside English. To yeah. Come over for the um, seven ball. Yeah, especially with the side being near the 5-2, I, I generally oh, like to Oh, he's going to be... do a bigger angle. That's fine. Getting a bigger angle because you can come straight across. That's a yeah. good shot. I just, I also like the the, the idea of, of this towards the 7-2. Oh, no. No. If, if you're on this side of the five. Oh, yeah, If you're on, yeah, yeah, if you're on this side yeah, of the yeah. five. Yeah, yeah, then you're going forward, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm just, I just know myself and my speed control on this shot is is just no. not on the level of John Mora. You know what I yeah. mean? So I, I have to kind of play to my own strengths. No, 100%. Yeah. Coming in with a 999 from Carson Franklin. Thank you guys so much for all the great coverage. This is going to make my work week so much you better. Kidding? Thank you, man. Hey, thank you for coming out here all the way from Sacramento and setting this all up. Oh, man, I'm having a blast, dude. I'm having a blast. This is probably the best setup that the U.S. Open has ever had. And you drove. Yeah, I took the truck. Yeah, I took the truck. Goodness. It was only 10 hours. It's I not know. bad. I know, and I'm, I'm here for two weeks, so. Yeah, John Mora trying to close the gap just a little bit. He's going to need Alvin to make some mistakes or get some uh, some misfortune. That is that is 100% true. And he's going to have to play jam up to get there, but it's definitely not outside of possibility. John Mora, 2-7. to seven. Alvin breaking. Let's see how he's breaking quick look over here we can check out these scores on digital pool yeah live scoring on digital pool Oliver Ruger Danny Olson four to four and as we pan the room Max Lechner Yuma Dorner five to three in favor of Max Lechner if you want to follow that match the entire way check it out on Windows open on Facebook Billy Thorpe to the table versus Dennis Lazowski four to three in favor of Billy Thorpe over here you brought all this in your truck yeah this is fantastic. Mobile and everything. Yeah, the walls come apart. I got bolts in the walls. That's so fantastic. So it breaks down, yeah. You guys, man. I mean, you guys can't get any better than this. Mobile <laughs> mobile streamer on the road. Let's go. <laughs> Post up is where it's at. That's, that's right. If see you want to see where he's at on uh, cue ball? If you want to get... Before he breaks? Oh, uh, no, I don't think oh, I'll get okay. there in time. Oh, no, no. He's not popping. He's a little draw there. I'll, I'll he check still it out made, on the next one. He still made a lot of balls. <laughs> if you want to get in the action, you got to post up. That's where we're streaming from with this mess of wires. Look at this. My, the, the... Hey, 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 but... The I mean, neural network. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but still, look at this. Like, you look at the box, like, zoom out of that. I mean, like, yeah. he brought it all in his truck. Yeah. Look at this. He broke it down, puts it together, takes it down. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> we have a good time. So this is this is weird, right? So like even it's real weird. Yeah, it, he's yeah the four doesn't three. go yeah. past the nine, right? So Yeah. So where's the future? He's looking at some kind of place to lay up and he's noticing the ten ball really close to the corner pocket. Two railer doesn't go. Five. I might let John deal with it. Yeah. You're up. You're up huge, right? Yeah. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even try. I just lay up. I would. I might even just put a three ball on the in rail just to. Just yeah. To go, okay, John, go ahead. Yeah, almost positive. Shane Van Boning is going to be up next, right? Yeah, Shane Van Boning and. Uh, uh, Daniel Masiol. The guy. God, Shane the breaks the balls like 100 miles an hour. It's absolutely insane. It's weird to say that Fetter and FSR is out of the tournament already. Yo, guys. I uh, just noticed this. Uh, shout out to Stacy Rice, Melissa Helen, 
Dustin Johnson, Divij uh, Babu, and John Mocheka. Thank you guys for all the love and support, you guys. Shout out to Melissa Helen. Sorry I didn't get a beer with you the other day. Was slammed getting this place set up. We had a, we had a beer plans <laughs> that fell through. Yeah, share it up, guys. Free stream. Mobile free stream. On the road. <laughs> and 999 coming in from Yusuf Amir. Thank you for the awesome stream. Also, congrats on the 10K sub. Yeah, thank you guys for the subs. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't, for subscri don't forget to subscribe to Griff's TV. Yes. From Griff's Bar and Billiards, because the finals of each event will be streamed exclusively there. We're on day three of 12, guys. Of course, hey, we, we knew Albin would be in this spot. Is he looking at the carom on the nine ball? I guess so. The thin carom? What's the S's above the... Oh, the score. That's the okay. score, yeah. Okay. So when we bring in the... Uh, when we bring this in. No, he's crossing it? Wow. No way. Are you kidding with wow. me? Wow. I can't believe he tried it. It's a built-in two-way shot. It look at is, this. It is true. Yeah, he, so when we, bring in, when we bring in the ball count, it's going to look like Ah, that. for one pocket. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, one pocket and banks. Awesome. Yeah. Unfortunately, I will not be here. Unfortunately, but fortunately for you, you got to go... To Boston. Yeah, chase yeah. those points, man. Yep. Boston, and I'm home for three and a half weeks, and then I go to Philadelphia, and then I train for a month and a half to get ready for Saudi Arabia Whirlpool so, Championship. There you go. Million dollar prize pool. When is that? June. Uh, June. First week of June, I believe. I'm stoked to follow that, man. I'm, we're gonna do. We're definitely gonna do our, our fantasy nine ball. Oh my I god, he could see the great ball. Great shot, John Mora. He could see the ball. What a shot. I didn't think he could get through there at all. Unbelievable eyes on that guy. Yeah, I don't know exactly where in Saudi Arabia, but I was just talking to Shane about it. And he said he's never been either. So, But Fetter said that he's been out there. He said it's boring, so he's bringing his PlayStation like he always does. Yeah, before. gotcha. So I'm like, oh, good. Thanks. Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> <laughs> He called the bank here, guys. John Morrow, one of the best bankers in the game. The window there for it. It's a twisty one. Oh. It's a twisty one. I think that the six was in the way of the natural I path. I think he needed to go straighter. And, and twist it with it. outside. Yeah. 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 That's what I was thinking, too. I'm going to do like a 9 out of 10 times for Alvin here on Newfelt on this shot. That's strong, huh? Yes. Newfelt? If the balls are clean, I think I agree. If the balls have been used They're, all day. The overseas players are used to brand new felt 24-7. Yeah. Well, but if the cl if the balls have been used all day, this is one of them shots you can get a funny skid into the rail. Oh, he went way hard on that ball. He did. I thought he would hit it softer because the ball will take more because the new felt slide in. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Very interesting. Oliver Ruger racking over there. Max Lechner also getting the rack ready. Those scores are progressing. Moving towards. Looks like he's going to draw around the eight and come out top rail, left side rail with bottom left. Clean. Perfect angle on the six. Perfect. Perfect line towards the six, actually. Yep, and now just stun with a little bit of right over with the, for the seven on the left side of the rail. Uh, score update on the Oliver Ruger match, five to four. Who? In favor of Oliver. Oh, okay. They are trading blows over there, it sounds like, or it looks like. Same with Max Lechner and Yuma Dorner, five to four in favor of Max Lechner. I Same like with this. Billy Thorpe and Dennis Lazowski, five to four wow, in favor of Billy five Thorpe. Four. Everybody's playing Except a little this slower. Match. Yeah. Except <laughs> this match. Actually, they've all played nine games. Every match has played nine games. Seven how, to two. How crazy is that? That's actually crazy. That's nuts. What are the odds if you if you could find a Vegas line on that? You know oh, what I mean? Oh my god. If you yes. could find Vegas betting odds like yeah. that. Uh, yeah, anyway. 
That's I mean that's pretty. I didn't never I didn't even think about that. I've never I don't think I've ever seen that happen. <laughs> John played perfect. I would have went past the side pocket, but he's doing good. There we go. John Mora. And PA. Two world nine ball ranking events in PA. Yeah, that's Frankie uh, from PA Pro M Pool. Huh? Well, where is that? Where, so. Looks where like John's going to take a break. He did his job on Albin's break, and now he's breaking himself. We can sweat some of this. Uh, we can sweat some of this. Uh, let's check out Billy Thorpe. What do you say? During this yeah, during hopefully this he doesn't game. fly his cue ball off the table again on this break. That's pretty cool. We are back. Could do this here. This might be a slightly better angle on this table. Oh, I hate this song. Got to change this song. This song is so tilting. Uh, better angle here. What's up, everybody? There we go. There's your boy. Was it one ball, two ball? So he could draw off of the three ball here and come down table. The angle, it'll just, he needs to pretty much get where he needs to. He has a small window, but I mean, it's a good window. You can go above it or below it. But a little bit of bottom or even bottom right to throw it in and hit the three ball even thicker. I'm being summoned. All right. All right, guys. I'm here in the booth alone. Hope everybody's doing well. Share the stream. The finals will be on Griff's TV on YouTube. So make sure you guys go and you guys subscribe and do all that stuff that you guys need to do to catch the finals here. Currently, there are 16 players left. Um, if you go to Windows Open, you'll see the list of who's on the A side and who's on the B side. Or you can go to digitalpool.com and just type in US Open and it should pull up. I didn't expect him to miss that ball. Had to go watch a hit. Oh, Billy, what are you gonna do? He might bank it. To be clear, it was a good hit. No foul. No foul. <laughs> or he's gonna cut it in the side and go around. I don't know. Looks like John Mora is back on the feature table. We'll swap back over there as soon as he's ready to break. Yeah, uh, Carlo Beato and Roland Garcia. Ooh, baby, Are overrunning the, the cue ball. Wow. All right, here we go, guys. Just in case you didn't see at the bottom of the screen, big shout out to our sponsors. Town with the Town Max Rack that's being used at the 10 ball and uh, 8 ball events. Uh, obviously, they have some great products with their, their chalk and, and Q tips. Uh, Michelle Griffin, Realtor, make sure you look into her, uh, look her up if you ever need some assistance with. Uh, with anything real estate related, look at this. This see, one ball gets double kissed into ball? the corner. Yeah, you see that five ball though. That five that it was a three ball last time when he last broke and it came three rails and kicked the uh, cue ball in the side pocket. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, good control there. Also, shout out to uh, one PKT and yeah. uh, uh, Diamond Billiard Products. If you're not familiar with Diamond Billiard Products, you're uh, 
either new to the game or you've been living under a rock. Some of the best quality equipment in the in the game. Um, Premier Billiards. If you need to get your hands on anything billiards equipment related, make sure you check those guys out. And uh, big shout out to our title sponsor, Q Tech. Was able to uh, go do a fair amount in helping us make this possible to bring you guys this coverage. And uh, oh, of course, Fast and Loose Designs, Chris Santana. Thank you so much for uh, doing all the promotional material. Uh, all of the artwork that you see on screen was derived from that promotional material. So if you're thinking about uh, having an event yourself and you want somebody to do some good artwork for you, check them out. Yeah, Frankie, Chris Santana is a Adobe Illustrator wizard, and he's quite creative. That's a good shot. Is U.S. Open Banks this week? So following this event, which is going to conclude tonight on Griff's TV on YouTube, um, starting tomorrow, we're going into U.S. Open 8-Ball for the next three days. Once that event concludes, the following three days will be U.S. Open Banks, and then we're going to finish things off with the final three days being U.S. Open One Pocket. So if you want to follow all the action as things get uh, more complicated and strategic as the event progresses. <laughs> yeah, it took me a lot of pool. Definitely subscribe. Shout out to John Daniel, JD. Thank you, man. Thank you for your support, man. And Keel Rubio, Got a you as well. Thank there. you, thank you, thank He's you. Jacked up, so he might kick behind it. He might. Can we please watch Shane's match after this one? Yeah, we're planning. We're already on the on the schedule. If you want to follow our streaming schedule, check it out on Windows Open on Facebook. Uh, but yeah, next up is Shane Van Boning versus Daniel Masial. Daniel's having a good tournament as well. Great player for, out of Poland. Yep. Young, too. Yeah, young guy. Real tall. Yeah, both of them. Uh, yeah. The one that's playing Billy, too, right? Is like He's like yeah. 19 or 18. Yep. Are the Premier League players able to stay for one pocket? It's possible, but it would be a quick turnaround. So, uh... I believe there might be one or two that are going to do it. Uh, Fetter was planning on it, but then Oliver Ruger uh, knocked him out of the tournament, so he skipped town. What? <laughs> Fetter left. No, he didn't. Yeah. He said something came up, opportunity came up, he's got to work on or do something. Wow. Yeah. Not playing any more U.S. Opens, huh? Yeah. Pretty wild. That is very interesting. John Palmore asks, "Does anyone know what they're talking about when they're referencing Windows Open on Facebook?" It's a U or sorry, it's a Facebook page. So just go on to Facebook and search Windows Open. And follow. And follow Molina Mike and Windows Same Open. Same thing with Post Up. Are we going to stream Carlo Biato's match? What time and against who? Uh, next one last round uh, is still in the works. I'm sure the more compelling ones will be on, or the more the higher general interest ones will be either on this live stream or the uh, Windows Open stream. And uh, actually, Carlo this morning asked about whether or not, yeah, 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 whether or not he could stream his own matches, and of course we said yes. Uh, actually, surprised. I like that. I liked it in Vegas too that they said that we we're allowed yeah. to stream the matches, which was yes. awesome. It's only good for the game, so. We weren't going to have to pay like $30 for the week or whatever it was, you know. With, yeah. You know. Yep. Always support the stream, guys. 
There's lots of them out there, but uh oh, not get a hard rail. enough. Get a rail. It was drifting this, in the this right is direction. This a good big change. Who just broke this? John, right? John broke this one. Yeah. So win this. I mean, he won the last. He'll win the last two racks, right? Seven four puts a little heat yeah. on Albin, but. <laughs> Screw it! I'm riding my scooter through and asking for autographs. <laughs> he did the same guy did it over in Vegas. Really, bro? We're sitting there watching. Um, I think it was FSR and somebody, and the guy just cruises through. Same guy cruises through and goes around, and he's trying to go through in the TV table, and they finally stopped him. Right, he tried right. to go to the TV yes, table. Yes, yes, dude. He drove through the whole entire area, and then he tried to drive through um, the TV, and they finally stopped him. <laughs> Same guy. Like, he's all, oh, this is how what I'm going to get on What is going on in Vegas, guys? What is the deal? <laughs> I don't know. It was crazy. That's wild. At first, we thought he was like, oh, okay, maybe he just didn't know. But he knew exactly what he was doing. Yeah. yeah. I thought he didn't know what he was no, doing. No, he knew what he was doing. Dude, the look on Shane's face when that happened. He's like looking around like going, he's looking around going, what is going on here? Yeah. <laughs> Same guy. Crazy. It was the same guy, all <laughs> yeah. new perspective. Yeah, yeah. Crazy, dude. Dude, the memes. The guys I know, like, right? I saw it. They too. see me rolling. <laughs> they hating. Yeah. So he funny. got stopped right at the um where everybody was sitting on the benches, like to go through. Oh. Perfect. Top English. Side rail, bottom rail. A little angle to get on the 10. Hey, no problem. But it was it was funny the first time because we're like, oh, man, maybe, maybe this guy just doesn't know how to get through. And he, no, he knew what he was doing. He was cruising. Like, he was cruising right through that entry and then kind of went around all the tables and even the refs were like, uh, what's going on here? And then he, they saw him heading to the TV table and they stopped him. 7-4. <laughs> Albin breaking. Visibly frustrated with that last inning at the table. Yeah. In a way, if you watch John Mora, like, um, like when he's down like this, he's making those mistakes. Like he gets in his head really hard, right? Yeah. Like he gets in his head hard, and then, and then he just snaps out of it. Like it's just weird. Like instead of just sitting there and waiting and just taking your time and just letting it do, but he gets in his head, and then. And then something clicks where it well, stops he and he it, just goes. He uses it to like fuel the, yeah, the focus. So. Yeah, you know right. I mean? Yeah, but it was just really weird to watch because like even when I was playing him in the Swanee, I was like, and then he just Oops. like it just shuts off and then he's like he's yeah. good to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if he pops it. He's lining up on the left side of the ball, guys. That's weird. Huh. It popped, but hit the wrong side. One ball's and... going to just hang in the side pocket. Is everything else going to open up? Three ball, little interesting. Just tight position for the three ball. Yeah, just come off to the right side of it just a little bit, like thin. Have a little angle. Holy crap. One rail, four rail. Coming in with the over-the-top 49.99. Good stream, sir. See you see for the banks. We're going to try and run a five to six player chip game or race to rails Friday or Saturday night if you want to stream it. Oh, nice. This week, I'm pretty locked up. Oh, yeah. We have like 100 cameras in here. <laughs> Just for the next two weeks, I'm, I am unavoidably detained. But if you're talking about another time and you're Northern, Northern California boy, but yeah. Right. yeah.
Well, if you guys know his whole story, John Mora, he actually played with his left hand when he first started playing pool. And then, like, throughout, like, his course of it, he switched to right hand. <laughs> Kobe Cox says, or Cox says, in Vegas, jazzy doesn't equal disabled. People rent those things like crazy. It's like the Daytona 500 in the Rio during the BCA, and it's so true. It's so true. I knew somebody that just I uh, just purchased one and had it shipped out to Vegas just so he can have it. Nice, dude. So his own personal one. Obviously, obviously, I'm not like laughing at the fact that the people need to use them. Obviously. No, 100. percent I'm but just I'm laughing that... at the I'm laughing at the analogy. That's all I'm laughing at. I mean, it's, think about it. There's so much walking. Like, it's like, I mean, it's Yeah, smart. it's a lot of I mean, walking, you, yeah. It's like $200 for one of them. I mean, might as well, you know? I was yeah. thinking about it with my wife and I. Like, just jump on and let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. All right, big shot. Alba Ocean trying to get to the hill here. This is, this, like, pretty much if he gets ideal on the 14, or the 4, it's the last, uh, you know, questionable shot or question yeah. mark in the rack. Three to four interested, one thousand dollar buy-in. It's like service talks at what? Walmart. You know what it is. Yo, one rail for rail. We can talk. Uh, it just really depends on when we finish that day, and uh, my general energy levels at the time. Because uh, I need to make sure that I'm, I'm at in tip-top shape for this stream, obviously. But yeah. if I'm feeling good, we might, it might be interesting to cover. Yeah, if you guys didn't watch it in the beginning, John Mora made some mistakes that he shouldn't make, and then he got kicked. kicked his cue ball got kicked in pretty, pretty sick kicks um, on his break, so um, he was down heavily out yeah. the beginning. Oh, that's an interesting question coming from Erst comment coming in from sensei nate colin zoom into the rack when they're racking the ball see if you can tell if they're putting a uh pressing the one ball down to make a gap between the second row balls they're actually i mean from what i've been watching they haven't been like if if i'm touching it i just want to make sure that my one ball is frozen to those two balls like, yeah with these, the new the, cloth the, you kind of yeah. need that even spread yeah but, but the, if you see one ball one ball going shorter than the other they could be gapping a ball you know what i mean no true but i mean with it's just this new cloth like with the with the draw like alvin's hitting the wrong side right he's breaking from the left side but his cue ball is hitting the right side right. so the balls are not going to react like they're supposed to yeah dom says there's no reason to gap the balls with a template i mean in specific conditions if you keep getting both the balls to go too high or too yep. low you might gap them and, yep. and try to just change the outcome a little bit just to see what what the difference does but Hey, I Generally, with a template, you don't need to. I, I appreciate it, but I won't be here. I'm leaving after I'm done here at the U.S. Open 10-ball event. Uh, I have to get home, see the kids, take care of some stuff, and um, get out to um, Boston for um, the matchroom ranking event. Look at the balls just settle together. I mean, they're all frozen. You can yeah, see when at, the back balls frozen. went look on, at, they all moved. Look at, so, look at, so, so he's just pushing them up and making sure they're frozen because sometimes the one ball will, like, will like have a little little gap like a little bit and you just have to press it backwards to um to have it frozen yeah no funny business no definitely not yeah i agree with you dom i'm just saying you know Jerry some people some people sausage. will try different things no that lion small lion small uh lion smoke salsa jerry doesn't start until uh, i get back from boston I had so many crazy orders come in. Even for Cinco de Mayo, I'm like, guys, I got you guys got plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> and I agree. Yeah, Dom, Dom knows too. Gapping the balls ain't funny business. It's learning how to do your job better, especially when it's rack your own. Good Lord. All the pros know. All the top Oh, flight. hey, my buddy wants to know which camera you're using for that zoom in for the rack. Yeah, it's called an SMTAV. S M T T A V A V Yeah Smart Audio Video It's a PTZ camera oh, pan tilt zoom. Hold on S M T T T A V V yeah. Camera? Yeah. Any one of them just, or is just, a... just search S M T A V okay. on, on Amazon, yeah. Is it four K? 
No, it's 1080p. 1080p. Yeah, I Send me one of those cameras for 160 bucks. Sorry, Dom, they're a little bit more than that. Plus, the setup's kind of complicated. Is it? It is kind of complicated, yeah, because especially with the controller, it's uh, you have to understand. What if you don't have a controller? They give you a remote, but there's a lot of delay between you hit when you hit the button and when it moves. So with the controller, though, you have to understand, like... So, so you couldn't have a setup for your house for your pool table on you, one thing? like You could, but you have to understand local area networks and how to configure IP addresses. Okay. So it's mildly complicated. Okay. Yeah. Because <laughs> right now I use a, a plug-in uh, Logitech for my live stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With a laptop? Yep. So we were trying to get a better camera? Yeah, you could do it with the remote and just set presets so that you're not moving the camera all the time. You just set a preset so it just goes to a specific spot. Yeah, that's exactly what I yeah. want. Yeah. Pricey? Not really. I mean, in, in the grand scheme of things, not really. <laughs> okay. No, I'll just... Unbelievable. This is the second time John has kicked at that pocket and got in contact with the ball hanging in front of it and not made the ball and taken it out. What? Did he just concede the match? He did. John just conceded the match, guys. That's going to do it. Sorry, guys. I like everybody finishing. Well, John's not based on the layout, I guess. Yeah, he's out. All right, so I'm going to swap to this other overlay for a second. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm out. Have a good one. Thank you for having Thank me you, Nick, in. For yeah, no by. problem. Thank you for having me. Um, we're going to swap to here for a second while we hold a vote of which match we want to sweat while we wait for uh, SVB versus Daniel Massial should start around noon time. I think it's scheduled at noon. Uh, the score here between Oliver Ruger and... Uh, Danny Olson currently sitting at eight to four. Oliver Ruger on the hill and at the table. And playing a great safe. What was the camera called again? Uh, S M T A V. Think smart audio video, SMTAV. Ooh, yeah. <clears throat> Let me make sure that Shane isn't here yet. Shane's at the table already. So we might be swapping pretty quick here. <laughs> Robert J, that's going to be a uh, that's going to be a a strong no. Definitely not Robert J. <laughs> Because I ran out of clips, Brian. I ran out of clips. And now that it's taped, I'm not uh, I'm not going to pull the tape off to put the clips up. Looks like Danny Olson's going to pull a game back here. Brandon Birch is calling the match for the uh, stream table right now, so I'll keep an eye on my camera down here to make sure we don't miss it, but we'll just hang out here until that match starts. And I'm not going to put a scoreboard up because then I'll just be changing it anyway when, um, when we start the other match. 
Danny Olsen currently down eight to four. He's got to win five in a row. Real, real solid speed on the draw shot there. Hey, Labrador1229. Thank you, man. Good to see you. Again, big shout out to the sponsors, Premier Billiards, Fast and Loose Designs, Town, Chalk, Tips, and Max Rack, Michelle Griffin, Realtor, Diamond Billiard Products, 1PKT, and our title sponsor, Q-Tech. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you don't know those names already, go check them out. Yeah, all the tables were just redone very recently. Last week, Kyle R. TV table had an incident, was actually refinished again last night on the bed. The, the cloth on the bed of the table was redone this morning, actually. I won't be a nit. I'm going to lose my money. <laughs> Don't be a nit, man. Go check out the Post Up Merch store, postupmerch.com, if you want to see a few of our t-shirts on there. We've got uh, Don't Be a Nit. Commentators are boring. I don't consider myself a commentator. I am a streamer. I'm here to hang out with you guys and, and talk about the things that I feel like I understand. <laughs> but I don't pretend to be Jeremy jo uh, Jeremy Jones or uh, you know Alex Laley or any of them other guys. I don't pretend to be as knowledgeable as a pro but try to talk about the game when I find it interesting. Oh, yeah, I could pin the link in the chat for the post-up merch store if you guys want to go check it out. There you go. Oliver Ruger breaks the balls and is in a rough spot. Rough spot on the hill, trying to put in the work to figure out how to convert this game into a win. So the link says it's no good, at least when I tried. Let me check it out. Let me see what's going on with it. Uh, seems to be working. Let me re-pin something in the chat. Let me let me get rid of it. Unpin that one. We'll go here. There you go. That that should hopefully work better. Oliver pushing out to a really interesting, challenging spot for Danny Olsen. Essentially a challenge shot. And he shoots at it and, and plays a real good save. Real good save. Am I going to be doing this on... Uh, I'm going to be going to be on the mic for the finals on Griff's TV. Yes, I'll still be running everything exactly like this, but it's going to be exclusive to Griff's TV uh, for the finals. We're live right now on Griff's TV as well. I'm not moderating the chat over there, though. I'm not watching the chat. Um, so I'm interacting on everything post up. Real nice hit by Oliver Ruger and the cue ball going to get a jelly roll. Look at this roll. Little wave to Danny Olson. It's like Daniel Massial is breaking on our feature table. I'm going to make sure if I see Shane come to the table after Daniel Massial misses, we're going to swap back over there and get the scoreboard set. But I believe Daniel is just practicing. 
Wow, that is deep, deep, deep in there. The cue ball. What is a jelly roll? It's a sweet roll. It's something that, you know, the, the ball was rolling so sweet for you. It must have been, that roll must have been filled with jelly. That's the way I look at it. Did he call the eight there? Did he call the eight? He made the eight, so Oliver Oliver has the option to take the shot or force Danny Danny to shoot it, and I believe he's gonna have Danny shoot the shot. Hey, that's my name, Dan Massiel in the chat. Interesting. Why not full screen? We're in between matches right now on the feature table. So we're, I'm hanging out with you guys in the chat while we're waiting for the new feature table match. We're just kind of red zoning this this uh, match where Oliver Ruger's on the hill. Oliver Ruger, the gentleman sitting down, not the guy at the table. Oliver Ruger was the guy that knocked out Tony Chohan, then Fedor Gorst, then Alex Pagulayan, and most of you guys have never heard of him. So we're kind of we're kind of following it, seeing what's going on. Look at this. Did he call that? He did not call that. Ball's just flying in the holes while Danny Olsen's at the table, but he leaves Oliver Ruger with essentially ball in hand position on the two ball and a fairly open run out. Four balls in a funny spot though. Don't want to overhit this ball. Yikes. Uh, Shane at the table right now racking so distracted by the game. I'm not sure if they just lagged This is a really interesting spot here For Oliver Ruger I'm keeping a close eye on that table next door on the feature table so we don't miss out on You know more than we need to if they did it in fact already lag Shane is wiping the, the surface of the table with his hand. I don't know what he's looking at. Maybe he saw something. Wow. I think Shane just broke... I think they get, I think they're started guys. I'm going to swap back over there. Based on the way that Shane's looking at the table, I think that we've gotten started on our feature table. Look at the situation he finds himself in. I know the scoreboard is wrong. I'm updating it right now. We are back with winner's side action here. Winner's side action between Shane Van Boning, Daniel Massiol. Neither of these players have lost yet. He's pushing out. He is pushing out to a jump shot. Uh, actually, a fairly... A fairly simple jump shot as far as pocketing the ball goes, but really interesting as far as getting on the two ball since the two ball is on the complete other... Op sorry, the complete opposite side of the table near the short rail and the natural, like, two rail position off of the one ball, especially while you're jumping, it, the cue ball really wants to go two rails, is fraught with traffic. Let's see what uh, see what our boy here does. Leaves himself real long. Ties up the seven with the four, so now the four doesn't pass into the top left corner. So 
So a little, little bit of interesting development here early days in rack number one. And Daniel overcuts the ball. He leaves no shot. Yeah, I was going to say, this might be a kind of a one-pockety type bank uh, here. You can kind of play it two ways where you leave the cue ball in this area of the table because the cue ball is going to slide across and back and forth. Uh, and then if you miss it, it ties up with all these other balls. Yeah, it's mostly a safe. But still kind of two-way because you have a look at the three if it goes. Billy wins 9-4. to four. Thanks for the update, Debbie. Looking at the other matches on the one-loss side that are progressing. We have... Max Lechner, Yuma Donner, Dorner, pardon me, 6-6 uh, six to six over there. A uh, decent hit for Danny Masyall here, mainly because he keeps the rack tied up. Even though he leaves a shot on the two, the rack is still really tied up, so odds have got to be fairly low for Shane developing things and, and getting out here. The, the four-ball bank doesn't lay nice either. So he plays safe. He's taking a look to see if he opened the seven. I guess he was trying to nudge the seven out this way so that the four would then pass either up into this corner or down into this corner. But it didn't work out for him. Even if he gets ball in hand here, it's no guarantee that it's a conversion to a win. Anyone know of the Fargo for Masiel? All of... Pardon me, all the Fargo rates are on the bracket on Digital Pool. Unbelievable. He kicks this short. The reason I'm shocked by that is usually on new cloth, when you're kicking two rails, things really like to lengthen out off of the second rail. You know what I mean? So a natural kick that would normally go like this ends up kind of following this kind of line on newer cloth. So it's it's interesting that he went ended up kicking short of the ball. Will we stream Vitaly and uh, and Lee Van? That is going to be live on Windows Open on Facebook. Yo, Alex Mapes coming in with a $10 super chat. Thank you for the love, man. He says, I watch a lot of your work or a lot of your streams at hard times. Keep up the good work. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's play a match sometime next time I come down from Reno. Very cool. That'll be fun. Yeah, that's true. Nate, maybe he did get a funny slide off the first rail. That, that could be true to shorten up the kick. Shane's going offense, and he's going to hang the ball up. No love here today for Mass, y'all. I don't think the rail first is on offer here. Is Fetter out? Yes. He was knocked out of the tournament by Oliver Ruger, who is on the table just above this one, playing Danny Olson. Oliver Ruger is the gentleman sitting down to the right of the table as we're looking at it right now. It looks like Danny Olsen's playing some jam-up pool to get himself back in that match. Oliver's on the hill. Wow, the swerve. And he catches the ball too thick. The swerve to catch the ball too thick and get yourself a scratch and give the game to Shane Van Boning. Unlucky. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> Tony Gonzalez says, or Troy Gonzalez says, thanks for the free stream. You should be able to flag anyone who complains about anything and charge them to get back on. You know what? If I never heard somebody, or if, if any, if I had no complainers, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't have, how do you say this? I wouldn't be exposed to ideas that are not mine that might help me improve the stream. So even though a lot of the, the stuff is, well, I'll leave it at that. Masiel going to try his hand at the break. Real tall, lanky guy. Looks super fit. Really focused. Kind of a more soft, controlled break. The one ball finds the corner, and the two ball ends up in a weird kind of banking position with the six ball, I think, covering most of, if not all, of the look that he would have on the two ball to play safe with. So, oh, sorry, the one's in the corner. It didn't fall. I thought the one fell in. The one's in the corner. The 3-5 combo lays pretty good, guys. Daniel might be able to strike back immediately. Yo, what's up, M? Welcome to the stream, buddy. What's up, Papoy? Glad you found your way back, buddy. Where can we find the brackets? In the video description. The link is in the video description. Yo, David McGrath, thank you. Thank you, thank you for the Venmo. Doesn't decide to play the 3-5 combo. Instead, takes the pragmatic approach and tries to lock Shane up. Now Shane's going to probably be kicking two rails at this and try to create separation with the cue ball. Interesting line, though. If you go two rails into this ball... Does the cue ball drift this way? Or do you catch it thick enough to roll towards the 8 and 10? Ooh, thick enough. Thick enough to send the three ball almost out of play. I think Daniel's got comfortable cueing here. He might be cutting at this ball. Tough shot. Tough shot to try to convert into a win. Casey Looper just comes for the music. That's right. <laughs> Can I just say, I think I have the best mods on the planet. You guys are great. You're so helpful in the chat. Yes, we are going to finish the tournament today, guys. We're streaming straight through. Finals will be exclusively on Griff's TV YouTube channel. Make sure you're subscribed over there. Shane just makes this game look so... So easy, man. And honestly, the way he moves through the rack and and the way he, like, 
the way that he makes it look easy is very reminiscent of Earl Strickland in his prime. I know that the mechanics are different, and Shane's mildly more deliberate, but just the ease of movement and the ease of ball pocketing, even on these really difficult shots, it's just really... You can tell the guy respects the hell out of Earl Strickland and, and uh, watched him a lot. Uh, Eric, random question. Since Twitch allows multi-streaming now, are you going to make a channel there too? I actually streamed on Twitch for quite some time. Uh, the viewership demographic, like age demographic generally uh, uh, that exists already in pool is generally older and they don't tend to be on Twitch and the people who are on Twitch are not there for pool. So... Uh, I think when I had like 2,000 people watching on YouTube once, we only had like 15 people on Twitch. So it's just not... YouTube's where it's at. YouTube is good for long-form content, and that's what that's what pool really is at its heart. Is In my opinion, pool is closer to... closer in content style to a podcast than it is to football. Or video games, other types of games. So, anyway. What the heck is MySpace? Shane Van Boning with an incredible break. And a very favorable layout. I like going rail first here. I like making sure you get rail first here and make sure you get nice and high on the ball. If you catch the ball first here, it's really easy to accidentally... Uh, hit right here and then like run into the 10 and 3 where if you catch the rail first the cue ball like almost wants to bend and then hit the rail and come out here is this is a touchy shot because the two is specifically because the two is so close to the pocket uh he's cueing low to maybe even take that whole conversation out of the equation yeah 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 he just decides to play speed on the draw shot without having to gamble about how the table's gonna slide uh, trying to get to the other side of the three. So he kind of gambled on the speed and, and like, like uh, he gambled on his own skill, I would say. To end up with a shot on the three. Yeah, Michael, I would say it's looking like this is probably going to go 2-0. Did I not update the score? Confirmed. Thank you, guys. Sorry about that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's going to go 3-0. This match is, is screaming along. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was too busy thinking about Earl the Pearl when the last rack ended. At any rate, three to zero just like that. And Daniel Massial breaking. What's the update on that uh, Oliver Ruger match? Is that over? Does Oliver Ruger move forward? Confirmed Oliver Ruger versus Joshua Filler. Are we really not putting that on the stream table? Oh no. I guess let me let me put it this way. I guess we should probably it's probably best that we don't cuz filler could just go filler mode anyway. And uh make the match really short. But dang, imagine it's a close match. We're going to be watching that one on the side for sure. The names that Oliver Ruger has sent packing already. Tony Chohan. Fedor Gorst. 
Alex Pagulayan, and Danny Olson. That is a hell of a tournament right there. Is this the quarterfinals? This is final... F the one that we're watching right now between Shane Van Boning and Daniel Massial is final four on the winner's side. So these players are both guaranteed fifth, sixth. And fighting for a place in the hot seat match. Shane, obviously less than thrilled with where his cue ball ended up there. He gestured to this part of the table saying he was expecting the cue ball to do something more like this and back out here for the two. Doesn't work out. Time to duck and cover behind the eight and nine. Can I do two streams? No. Out of one computer, I cannot. Not two different tables, no. I mean, I can picture-in-picture picture stuff, but I only do that uh, under specific situations when, when there's something quite dramatic happening away from the feature table. Yeah, Divage, I'll keep an eye on the scoreline on that match, and if it gets hot, we'll watch it. Meanwhile, Daniel Massial already down three to zero and in a tough spot kicking. Uh, not quite sure what he was just gesturing to, but he's going to leave a shot on the two ball. And it's laying in a way where Shane can address the three. Does the three go? It looks like it might go, boys. It's close. It obviously goes. Oh, well, it definitely goes up in the corner, that's for sure. I think he might play it in the corner. Yeah, that's why he's queuing right here. He wants to make sure that he doesn't leave himself jacked up over the 10 or hindered by the 7, hooked by the 7. So he's just stopping the rock or maybe even rolling forward slightly to bump the 10. He draws the other way to bump the 7 to make sure he has clear queuing. How does winner's loser's side work exactly, George? So the way it works in a double elimination tournament is everybody must lose twice, except for if you make it to the finals straight up without losing. The finals in this tournament, is, it's a single race to 13, but everyone else must lose twice. So uh, if you lose from the winner's side, you have another chance to try to claw your way back by knocking other players out of the tournament. Brett Voorhees, I'm thinking I might end up doing some type of podcast or like like group stream later after the event where people who are interesting in interested in streaming in the setup, I might be able to just do like a Q&A thing slash tour, do a live stream so that I can always reference that. Uh, like, you know, when new people ask the same questions, then I can reference it and say, go check out this video. Shane Van Boning. Gets out four to zero. Shane is looking unstoppable in this tournament. Alvin Ocean currently playing Nick DeLeon here on table 13. There's a nice open shot on the eight. This game should be over here. SVB is cooking. Let him cook! Let him cook! <coughs> is
Is the two ball going to fall? Oh, he made the second ball. What a break. I didn't see the, the first ball that fell. With one ball just hangs up in the corner. It's looking like Shane Van Boning has found the secret sauce here, guys. How the hell do you beat that? I don't know how to beat that. Even if I could do all the stuff that all the other guys could do. Wow, develops the cluster in the middle of the table while also getting position on the three ball. <laughs> God, this is something to watch. He's running these racks out in like two minutes a piece. And he's got the cue ball on an absolute string. Uh, SVB, ladies and gentlemen. That's all you can do, man. Just sit there and say, Dang it, Shane. Stop playing so freaking perfect. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I, I, I'm kind of speechless at the moment, guys. I'm going to take a look around the room, take a quick break. I mean, this is... Looks like we have a match here with Carlo Beato. It looks like he is streaming. Is that a camera? Oh no, that's a cue. Never mind. I take it back. Maybe. Yes, he is streaming. There's his camera. Carlo Beato is live, guys. So if you want to sweat this whole match, you can check it out on his YouTube channel. Carlo Beato versus Billy Thorpe. And back to our feature table, the break. Daniel Massial really nicely placed one ball. The four and seven tie up in the middle of the table. Three ball really accessible with the angle that he has moving in that direction. But what do you do with the four? Looks like it might go in the side, guys. Looks like the four might go on the side. If he gets below this three ball here, this rack is night-night. It does go, guys. Taking a look at the angle to just nudge forward or roll through past the six and make sure you get a good look at the five ball. Daniel Massiel, nice break. Nice break. Five zero on alternate break is crazy. Nate Bryan, Shane Van Boning beat Carlo Beato 9-2 alternate break. He beat the world champion. It was 9-2, to two, right, guys? Or was it 9-3? to three? Let me make sure I don't eat my words. It was 9-2, to two, confirmed. That's the Shane Van Boning we're dealing with these last three days. I went to get a bite, and it's 5-0. What happened? His name is Shane Van Boning. Let's see if Daniel Massey all can slow him down. Almost overcut that ball. Almost overcut that ball. Kind of lost the cue ball a little bit. He's got a really thin thin cut here on the six in the side. I think he was a, in, originally intending to play it in the side, but he can play this in the corner unless he just decides to roll the ball real slow. He does decide to roll the ball real slow. Cinches the cue ball from the seven across the table to the nine. And this game is over.
Yeah, exactly, Jason. You can't slow him down because he gets to break every other rack. That's tough. I do like this from Daniel, though. He comes to the table and says, Don't worry, I can make this look easy, too. Good lord. Daniel gets his first punch in, and Shane says, Watch this. like Vitaly Petsura is getting ready on the Windows Open stream. On table 11, getting ready to play Lee Van Corteza. Shane Van Boning, another break with a perfectly ideal shot on the one. Balls spread wide open. The speed is dialed perfect. What's the over-under on the speed of this rack? I'd say two minutes and 15 seconds. No, no, no. Three minutes, 15 seconds. Shane keeps putting the two and the three in the corners and no one's called him on it. Interesting, Bobby. A little straight here. A little straight here to play the four past the seven. I don't think. See what he does here. Oh my god. <laughs> Just try that at home, folks. Just try it. It's so easy to overhit that ball that he just drew. So easy to overhit it, <coughs> overhit it, and the eight and ten come into play and and ruin your day. Wow. Ooh, he's coming up short here. Maybe not so much. Maybe not so much. I thought he was I thought he was gonna get like a rotation and a half less than that. Great shot, never in doubt. Another one. That is the real fetter. He says, let's hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks a lot for the stream, Collins. Thank you, fetter, for hanging out the last couple days. Sorry you had to skip town, man. Daniel Masiel's uh, focus and demeanor here being down 6-1 to one against a guy like Shane Van Boning in alternate break format. He's really just focused on the here and now. Speaking of the here and now, both, both second row balls come short of the side pocket. And the one ball, extremely accessible. 
for Shane. I mean, he can do whatever the heck he wants with this shot. I actually think that it lays really good to put the cue ball near the 8 and bank the 1 back near the 2 and 7. It lays really good for the cue ball to head this way. I think. Let's see here. What did he call the side? Oh, he's thinning the one and sending the cue ball near the two and seven. Oh, interesting play because all of these balls... This is interesting. All of these balls here restrict the one rail kick this way. It's, dude, that is next level thinking. And the two ball restricts the kick this way. And he makes the jump bank... Talk about next level into next level. Holy shot. Wow. When SVB made the one ball, it took two minutes and six seconds to run out last game. So it was. I said the over-under was at 2.15, and I thought that was too fast. But it really was under 2.15. That's crazy. Daniel pulling out the extension. Going full bridge and extension mode. It might be 6-1, but Masyal is strong. Masyal is at 8-0-7 Fargo. That is 8-0-7. The guy can play. I don't mean I don't just mean the guy can play. I mean the guy can play. Got him. I got him. SVB really think of this one through. I'm not really quite sure what you can do here. All the natural paths lead into the open. Like, lead both balls into the open. So, maybe thin the right side of the two and go two to three rails. Try to get near the six ball with the cue ball. Have the seven stop the two, maybe. He missed the seven with the two. The three's going to come into play, though. I'm not sure if that's exactly what he was intending, but it works. Could have been what he was intending. Little head scratch. Seems okay with it. Daniel. Got his kicking shoes on. Maybe his banking shoes. He can see this two ball. He can see this two ball. is going to look nice. No, 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 it isn't. Does the two ball leak out? Can you see the whole ball? A lot of traffic. A lot of traffic on this foot rail. Yo, coming in with the $20 from Buddy Tweed. Thank you, man. $20 super chat.
Why is he wearing a kid's jersey? And then Henning 2 says, because he is huge. Huge. Daniel Massial is yoked, dude. He's got that... He's got that skinny yoke. That skinny yokeness, you know what I mean? Looks skinny from afar, but then you get close and you realize... Kid's buff. Kid works out. Has Oliver Ruger started with Joshua Filler? I think they have. There's yeah, they're three tables down. Let's just take a quick glimpse. Oh, Shane Van Boning finally misstroking a ball and leaving the two ball out for Daniel Massial. This is the this is the table that that uh, Oliver Ruger and Joshua Filler are going to be playing on. Oliver grabbing the cues, the killer, waiting to make heads roll. <clears throat> Obviously, Daniel makes that two ball as it dressed up nicely for him. This is an interesting spot. This is the interesting spot. Yeah, he's looking. He's looking the natural path. Fairly natural, leads this way and down here. Oh, he's drawing the ball. Holy stroke and new cloth. God, they got such a nice cue ball on good on new cloth. Ooh, almost got an unlucky kiss on the five. But instead, things sit for the 5-7 uh, the combo, which will be nice to have the five on the same side of the table as the six ball. Really slow here. Don't want the five ball to go nowhere. Daniel, Daniel trying to make his name, trying to make his voice heard in this match. This match has been all SVB up till last game, and all of a sudden Daniel says, no, 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 no. No, I'm here to play. Five zero in favor of Billy Thorpe over Carlo Biato. Daniel Massiel. I'm doing it, guys. I'm putting the point up. I'm putting the point up right now. Slick and clean. Shane Van Boning sprints to the table. We got action. Looks like Oliver maybe just hitting a couple balls. I'm assuming that they're not getting started already. Let's see if we can confirm the score here between Carlo Biato and Billy Thorpe. We can keep zooming if you want, guys. Bring it in. Bring it in. Let that camera shake. Billy Thorpe, Carlo, Carlo Biato. Holy break. Both balls go short of the side pockets again. Dry break. Three ball comes in and spoils everything for Daniel Massial. Three ball spilled the punch. Three ball kicked the door in. Yato is sleepwalking, maybe. Maybe he's been celebrating too much with his world title. Is Billy's match being streamed somewhere? Yes, Angie, you can check it out on Carlo Biato's face or YouTube channel.
can you set the PTZ camera on manual exposure? It'll have the tables always properly exposed. I could, but then you wouldn't be able to see the players when I zoom out. It has more to do with the room lighting than it has to do with the camera. Like the, the tables are much brighter, much more brightly lit than the rest of the room. So I'd rather, when I move the camera around, I'd like to be able to see the, ta the players. Yo, Benny Riley in the chat. There's a post up fanatic. Good to see you, man. Look down the barrel of SVB. God, he's still, isn't he? Cue ball coming around the 10. Gets clear of the eight ball and Shane's going to have to figure something out with this four ball. Well, Bobby, I'll, I'll tell you, I think it's uh, it's up to their opponent. It's up to Shane's opponent. Um, at this point, you know, we're we're not we're not acting as officials. We're we're acting as uh, somebody that uh, we're 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 resolvers. You know what I mean? We're here to resolve issues if. Or, or make calls if a player asks. WMPS, Wisconsin Mobile Pool Streaming, coming in with a 499 Super Chat. Thank you, man. I think his original plan was to play this combo, but if you play the combo from this angle, it's really tough to keep the cue ball in line unless you use the five. He does use the five real nicely. Jacked up over the nine ball, but I... It's not the end of the world because the five ball's real close to the left-hand corner pocket, so you don't really need to worry about the cue ball a ton. There's a bit of traffic if you overhit the ball. But of course you don't if your name is Shane. Uh, Bill, your live TV. Yeah, do, do, uh, th sorry, the question has just been asked about 20 times in the last hour. Asks, do you mind sharing what camera you're using in the main table? It's called a, a SMTAV pan tilt zoom camera. Where's the band hammer? Who's spamming? Who's spamming, Robert? Let's go get him. I'm coming. Oh yeah! Oh, this is oh yeah. We're, we're, we're later. Ban from the page. Confirm. Dunyan rings. Serve that spam artist. Served him up a fresh order of Dunyan rings. Speaking of Dunyan rings, this rack is done. SVB needs two more games after this 10 ball to finish the deal and get to the hot seat match. I see a, a number of people in the chat asking for the Oliver Ruger match. Um, as soon as this match is over, I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll have enough time to swing over there. 
I'm actually going to check with Molina Mike right now about the timing of the schedule moving forward. So I'm going to leave you guys on this camera for just a second. Okay, just getting the inside info on the upcoming matches. Molina Mike is going to be joining me in the booth shortly. Wow, Daniel just rolling the ball. And he gets past the eight. He was trying to run into the eight there, guys. He was trying to run into the eight, and he gets past it. Maybe the slick cloth allowing the cue ball to roll forward, you know, more than he was expecting. And what I mean by forward is not like, you know, with the cut, the cue ball you would think would move to the to the right a little bit more. But he makes good contact. Obviously, he was attacking there, trying to make the ball. Gets a jelly roll. Gets a jelly roll. Shane tries to play some type of safe with the four and nine situation, maybe trying to get the cue ball covered with the 10 or seven and, and whoops, wrong button, and uh, doesn't work out for him. Sells the farm to Daniel Massial. Danny using the, uh, Dan using the eight ball really nicely to get an ideal angle on the four ball here too. Solid stuff.
Hey, thank you, Jules. Good to see you the other day. Glad to bump into you, man. How can it be a jelly roll? There's no food at the table. <laughs> there might be no food at the table, but sometimes it sure tastes good. Where's Daniel from? He's a Polish boy. Making a good showing for the Poles. Well, hello there, Mr. Newey. Oh, hi. Mike? You made it back, man. I made it? Well, uh, yeah, something like that. Looks like Daniel's trying to make a comeback. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know you know who else is trying to make a comeback? Me to work. That oh, guy. the world champion? The world champion. No, he's down he was down five zero, I think, to Billy, and now it's five one last I checked a little bit ago. Big story there. Carlo got here early this morning and was practicing, as was Billy. Looks like Billy's going to get another game. Wow, he's going to be six. This is going to be seven here for Mr. Thorpe. Massive story. I'm surprised he played it to like that. Why didn't he roll stop up the on rock, him? Yeah. yeah, surprised he didn't roll up. This is missable. Well, we're breaking. Hold on. Can we at least see the, well, the shot? Well, SVB's doing his I thing, know, but man. He's, listen, I'll, I'll give you the rundown. He's out. Can okay. We see, can we see if he made the 10? Of course, you made the 10. 7 1. Wow. World Massive class. story. Massive story there. Billy Thorpe making moves. Dude, so what's going on here? Is Shane just bowling just the every table? Time, every time Shane is breaking, except for the last break, has been absolutely picture perfect break. Well, he's a little and, here. And running out in less than three minutes. Have you set the timer? Last time it was two minutes and six seconds. Is that right? Yeah. Beautiful. Good job, man. I got that from the chat. That wasn't me. Is Oliver up on filler? Imagine. E imagine. One to one. Just fight, baby. Imagine that parlay if you were to take like oh, Ru Ruger and Billy Ruger over filler, Billy Thorpe over Carlo Beato. Imagine the parlay to say that that. Oliver would beat Tony Chohan, Josh, or sorry, Fetter Gorst, and uh, I'm sure Fetter's going to love that I confused that with a Freudian slip. Uh, Fetter Gorst and uh, Alex Pagulian in a row. Well, I mean, you would have. And Danny Smith, uh, Danny Olson. Yeah, you're talking about like five figures right there, easily. Five figure to one. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, uh, maybe not, but like you would have, you would be five figures richer. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put a hundred dollar, hundred bucks down. It's at least a hundred to one. Yeah, more. Yeah, you're... it's probably close to a thousand to one. Yeah, crazy. Muhammad says, "Stop the music, please." No, I like it. All right, on the hill. SVB. How long did that take, chat? How long did that take? About yeah, two minutes. I would say uh, definitely less than three. A hundred seconds. Yeah, it was nothing. Nothing. Yeah, sorry, Muhammad. I don't mean to be rude. I'm, we just have to have it on. In case the jukebox gets too wily. Here we go. The point of all this is to make sure we keep the stream on for you guys. And if we pick up copyright music, then it's not going to be able to happen. Carlos streaming it for his fans as well. Come on. Come on, focus. focus. It's so tough for a camera to focus on another screen. There you go. There you go. Nice. Josh just sitting there. The break. I keep coming in just a little too late. I've been on point Three, six, all week, ten. and I'm dogging it today. Stop the SVB momentum, please. <laughs> well, I don't who, know if you can do that. Who's going to stop him? Leave him? I don't know. Like I don't Valley? know. I don't know. This guy's breaking 
Unreal right now. Uh, if you want to see the Lee Van Corteza versus uh, Vitaly Petsura match, you can see it on Windows Open on Facebook. So go to your Facebook account, search Windows Open. It is live right now. You can follow the score live on Digital Pool. The, the funniest thing about, not to get too distracted, I know I do this from time to time, but the funniest thing about the comments that just say, turn the music off, is those people, what are they expecting me to be like, oh, well, actually, you know what? Now you say it. Yeah. Since, I'll just, I didn't even think about that. I'll just yeah. turn it off. We've never given that consideration at all. <laughs> yeah. Like, is that what the person actually yeah. expects or I don't get it. Anyway, just funny. It's internet. What are you gonna do? Daniel's got a shot here, and he's trying to—I think he's trying to nudge the two here, but the table slide got him. Yeah, they changed the clock today. Yeah. One Last the, rack from the break was two oh six again. Brett Vore says two two minutes and six seconds twice in a row. Sick. That's crazy. Someone cropped that video and sent it over to me. You want? You know why that happened? Huh? You know why that changed though? I don't think he's got a shot here, buddy. Thank you, John. Touchy's going to sell out. He's going right in the window. Or is he? No, I think he's got him half hooked. Yeah, I think you're right. He's checking to see where the two ball is going to go when he thins it. Maybe. Or maybe he can stop the rock. No, he was checking to see if he could make the three. He could see the whole ball. Wow, if he could see the whole ball, then he really gave that a half effort there because he just kind of... He overcut it. Well, he just kind of... Oh, no, did he overcut it or hit it too thick? Because if he overcut it, it means it he couldn't hit. see the whole ball. But if he hit it too thick, it then a thick it, hit. if it was a thick hit, then he just kind of mailed that one in. That's what I'm saying. Or implying, rather. Shane's going to come around three rails, four rails. Oh, no, It was not. a thick hit. He could see the whole. I thought it was going to really pocket. make that ball roll. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I Crazy. thought it just the effort was just kind of interesting. Stop it, Michael. It says Oliver up two to one. I'm like, Chris Santana. I see your message, buddy, but my phone is streaming right now. Shoot me a message on Facebook Messenger, because my my texting <laughs> my phone is. Mike, check your streaming. phone. Don't ghost me. Yeah. I leave a lot of people on red, but not you, Chris. Just shoot me a message on Facebook Messenger if you can. He leaves buddy. me on red all the time. I'm all not the time. He does it all the time. It's yeah. so tilting because I always answer the phone and I always immediately respond. I have good intentions. To him. I have good intentions, but sometimes it just gets swamped. I think so. you just want, Mike, I think you just want to feel wanted. Me? Yeah, is that what it is? You just want to feel wanted by me? Keep me on the, on the leash or keep me on the hook? I wish that was that, was that self-centered, but no, it's uh, just... <laughs> it's just... Being inconsiderate, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's get some uh, some more of this camera action going, see what's going on in Shane Van Boning's mind. A little bit of head scratching. Wow, nice little touchy shot there. You ball drifted and towards the corner. That's why he was scratching his head. He was he was nervous about how it was gonna the kick and stick come and out. The cue ball slides yeah. down the rail. He hit at a perfect speed though. You know, yeah. just a containing shot. Tapped the table. Just, oh no, he called the the he uh, called the side side pocket right. for the kick. This is if you go at a good speed, you can you can hook him with the ten and eight. He hit that well. He's gonna sell out though. I think. Is it gonna keep rolling? Ugh. I don't know. I don't think I have the camera angle to tell, but I don't. I think he's hooked. I think he's hooked. Is John Moore still in? Well, so what was the score with Alvin and John? Because that was one loss side this morning. Uh, it was quite disparate. I think it was like nine to four. Oh, okay. 
You guys can check out the live scores and previous match scores on digitalpool.com. Don't be lazy like me. Digitalpool.com, search US Open 10 Ball Championship and it will be on there. There are tablets at every table and they are updating the scores so you guys can follow along in real time. Big shout out to all of our sponsors who helped put this event on. Of course, Griff's, Q-Tech, Town, Michelle Griffin Realtor, 1PKT, Premier Billiards, who's actually sponsoring our all-around award. So we are going to give out an all-around bonus, and it's not just it's not going to be just the trophy, Collins. We're actually giving away some cold, hard cash. Yeah. Is it 3-2-1? 3-2-1. We're paying out yeah. three. Yeah. 3,000, 2,000, and 1,000. Oh, I don't know about that. I meant like we're paying out three places. Yeah. I don't know if that's... Oh, you I'm, might. I'm, I'm saying, don't quote me on that. If those are the numbers, okay. but we are okay. playing out, paying out three places. Okay, got you, got you. So. Fast and loose designs and. Uh, oh yeah, Chris. Other. Of course, Chris Antenna, Fast and loose designs. If you guys need a flyer for your event, whether in the pool industry or otherwise, logo made, whatever the case may be, hit up Chris Santana, Fast and loose designs. Eddie put in some awesome work and was really pivotal, pivotal. Yoink. In, in getting us some of the. Uh, um, graphics and, and flyers. To give me that replay, will you? What a shot. <laughs> Unreal. And to end up hooked. Unlucky. It's tough when you shoot that straight. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Yeah. He's calling it in the corner, kicking one rail, hoping to hit it right in the face. Coming off thin and going to sell out here. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yeah, I got yeah, I got to undo that. By you, the way, you you love that button, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I actually like Chris a lot now for sure. Anyhow, <laughs> Chris, I just showed him your, the message you sent me. Holy cow! I got eight messages on Windows open. Daniel Massiel. He's got a lot of angle here, but he can easily get to the uh, get to the long rail. It might just be too little, too late. Shane Van Boning has done too much too soon. Who's Max Lechner playing? Or is he just hitting balls? That side of the room, it is an interesting situation to say the least. Oliver Ruger tied with Joshua Filler at two to two. Lee Van Corteza up three to one versus Vitaly Patsura. Lee Van. Lee Van, after the break, the moving side of the game has been the strongest in the tournament. Shane has just been an unstoppable force because he doesn't even give his chance to give his opponents a chance to move. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it's hard when you make. I literally, I I recorded him earlier breaking ten ball, and I'm not even kidding. He made five, well, four balls in the break. Yeah. Well, right as you say that, dry break.
Has the tide turned? Possibly, but it's going to have to stay turned for quite... Uh, wow. Well, oh, there he's, you go. He's pressing there. That was a little... That, what's the saying? Very aggressive. Yeah, don't do that again. You know what movie that's from? Of course. Okay. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some Oreos while you're at it, buddy. All right. Is that a fist bump? No, <laughs> no, I'm not fist bumping you on that move, man. Why's no. your wrist wrapped up? Is everything okay, buddy? No, I just I think I strained it uh, lifting. Oh. Yeah. Guys, he works out. Here we go. Here we go. You're the one asking me, and I answer the question, and then you got jokes. It's a great movie, by the way. It's a great movie. Yeah. Matt Damon. Your your impression I mean, how. On the other hand, was a little over the top, I know, but uh, Matt Damon in in that movie and then into uh, Goodwill Hunting is just legendary yeah, stuff. Well, I'm not a big movie guy, but that's one of my favorite movies. So yeah, I need a link to Windows Open. Not able to get to their stream. Hmm. hmm. Well. There's only one reason why that may be. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, Chris Santana, can you watch that stream? <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm blocked, Chris, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah, of course you did. He's been working on our stuff for, like, months now. Wow. So, but he's been texting me. Look at this. And he leaves gonna himself go, in a jumping he's gonna have situation. He's going to go airborne here. He's super tall. He should be able to get there, no problem. I would assume that he's not jumping with a full queue. I've heard good things about this new Mez Jump Q. They've, it's been out now for, I think, a few wow. months. There in like you go. six plus months. So. There you go. Well, he didn't waste any time there, did he? No, Just sir. It's pretty good. I love you, Mike. All right. We got a nice. Why do you say that, man? Because you're so fun. It's what I hear. It's what I hear. Daniel came up a bit short here. No, he's fine. He's fine. Yeah. Yeah, but it's real easy to let the cue ball go. One last. One last little center of the pocket. Making it look just like a hanger. You can tell why he's gotten to this uh, point look in the tournament. Look how fast he's playing, man. I didn't know he played with this rhythm, to be Neither honest. Neither did with I. You, but I knew he had that kind of precision. Yeah. So. Yeah, so on Windows Open, it's Vitaly and Levan, the other winner side match right now. So, wow, Billy won. Billy won. Billy beat him already? Is it over? I think so. How fast is that, too? That was a fast match, man. I'm going to go see if I can talk to Billy. Yeah. Do you need me for anything? Uh, No, thank you. Actually, okay. come back in a bit because I will need a little break. Okay, I'll come. I'll Whatever. come back. Yeah, I'll come back. Let's go check out this other match here, guys. Nine to one, holy moly. Oops, picked the wrong camera. This camera is the one I want. And that's the wrong table. That's the table I want. Is that Oliver Ruger? Making a 10 ball? Is anybody surprised at this point? Is anybody surprised at this point that Oliver Ruger is making a 10 ball against another world beater? And taking the lead. Three to two. I can't wait to sweat this one. Let's pop back over to our feature table. The break from Daniel Massiel finds the eight ball in the side pocket. One ball's got too much speed on it. It's going to come up on the left-hand long rail, but he can see the bottom of the one ball, it looks like. Possibly be able to use it to get the cue ball below the 10, 2, and 7. Let's check it out.
He played the bank, folks, and he's going to run some balls. Let's go, Daniel Masial. Hey, DGZ, I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. God, he's really playing with a nice rhythm, isn't he, guys? Talk about, talk about a momentum swing. It's kind of interesting to see all of this, uh, you know, this big momentum swing that you normally see in a winner break format is currently happening in an alternate break format. Same thing with the, the blowout score lines on the other tables that have happened recently. Uh, interesting to see that in this tournament from players of this caliber. Hey, one warning, Ken, Ken DeLuna. I don't know about any of the details about anybody outside of this. We're only here to talk about pool, and we're not here to talk about people that can't defend themselves publicly currently. So I don't know anything about it. One warning, we're here to talk about pool. What's a foul? W did I miss a foul on the nine? That's not a foul. That's not a foul in cue ball fouls only. Plus, guys, yeah, Jerry Stuckert would know in the chat. That's not a foul. It's both players' responsibility. If... If it's obvious that the rack is hanging over the edge of the rail, it's both players' responsibility to ensure that that rack is moved. It's just as much Shane's responsibility to make sure that that rack is not in the way. So that is not a foul. It's a very common misconception in this game. No foul. Sorry to get all authoritative. <laughs> I know it's not a it's not my typical tone. Shane coming with a big stroke here, it looks like. Not wanting to let Daniel back to the table. And he just completely, uh, completely misses the pocket. And the one ball is going to dress up nicely. Is it going to keep rolling? No, it isn't. Daniel going to be playing safe here for sure. Under WPA rules, uh... I believe with the rack they're not going to they're not going to call it especially if a ref is involved because the ref is going to move the rack. Daniel creating some distance. A lot of the kicking lanes occupied by the 2, 6, 8 and 10. Looks like a bit of a Z kick here, maybe. Shane measuring out to see if the rail first is on offer. Ooh, it's close, actually. It looks close, but you're jacked up over the four. You got to make a real clean hit 
jacked up over the four to make this go. Right, any time that the, the moving ball is influenced by another object, it would be a foul, yes. But because it's just as much the player's responsibility who is sitting down as it is the player at the table, who you call on the foul on? That's why it's not a foul, because it's both their responsibility. Anyway, moving on. Calls the bank shot. Calls the bank shot. Seven ball in the Narnia spot on the table. Seven ball in the spot that nobody likes to shoot from. It is the same as leaving the rack on the table and shooting over it precisely. And overcutting the two ball. Did he have an open shot? Sorry, I was reading the chat. At any rate, Shane's going to have an opportunity to finish this uh, finish this match here. Finds the window between the eight and six. Wow. Just wow. Uh, Jalapeno, I think we're, we're slowly but surely moving away from that. Uh, the internet and all of the available live streams and coverage and stuff is, is really helping move in the right direction. It's a lot better than it was eight years ago. Anything like that, it takes time to get everybody on the same page. I am not in love with life if I'm the guy shooting this six ball and trying to get on this seven that's just literally on the worst spot in the table to shoot at. Goes above it. He's got a decent angle on it. Probably shoots at rail first with that. Well, we'll see. Yeah, plays the eight up in the, the top left corner of the table. Two more balls for SVB to solidify his place in the hot seat match. And there we have it. SVB moves on. Daniel Massey all putting up a real solid fight, but uh, 
You know, unfortunately for him, SVB just went full pool god mode for the first half of the match. So here we go. We're going to swap over with no scoreboard for a minute or two uh, to this developing match between Oliver Ruger and Joshua Fillert. Currently sitting at three to three. Sorry about the uh, camera losing focus. There we go. I think I'll bring it in just a little tighter here. Bring it in just a little tighter. That way we can still see him move around the table a bit. Uh, and I'll get us. Wow. That was a nice shot. Look at look at Josh respecting the shot that he played there. That was really nice. That was like a kick. Opens up the cluster. Leaves Josh with a tough kick. That was a hell of a shot. And it looked so simple. Twist kick coming here, trying to get safe. Doesn't get safe and leaves Oliver Ruger straight in up the table with the five ball real close by. Six ball near the side pocket. Guys, chances, chances. Oliver's real tall, asking Josh to move the cue. How much is first prize money in this tournament? 9000 to first place. Uh, man, R, uh, there was just some damage on the table. There was damage on the cloth. Had to have it replaced. Unfortunate. Especially so shortly after it was already re refinished. Oliver currently resides in San Francisco. Um, I don't know where I don't remember where he's from originally. I'm sure there's some uh, some California folks in the chat right now that know. Maybe help us out. After this rack, I'll get a scoreboard set up for you guys. But it's currently oh Estonia. Thank you. He is playing real nice, real nice cue ball. Wow, Oliver takes the lead four to three and it looks like both players have been tending to hold their serve. Oliver has to go take care of something. Let me uh, let me get the scoreboard set up, guys. steps away we can ooh, pardon me take a quick glance at uh, some other happenings let's see maybe Nick De Leon Alb Alvin Ocean
Nick DeLeon, Alvin Ocean currently sitting at a score of 8 to 3, Alvin on the hill. And it looks like Filler is now getting to the table, so since th the score is quite far off, so it looks like we're going to quickly move back to this other game. Filler breaking right now. Score. Three. And. Four. What? Oh. Four. There we go. Actually, since the table layout is like this, I think I'm going to bring the chat on screen. It's easier on my eyes. And that way... Those people on Facebook can get involved in the chat on YouTube as well. Let's do a little move like this. There we go. There we go. Watching from London. Welcome from London, Alan. <laughs> Kyle Livy. Hi, Mom. Uh, that's funny. So it looks like Oliver might have a look at this one ball. He's looking from both directions to see if this one ball passes the four. Hey, to be clear, in the chat, we're not here to talk about the incident from last night and make accusations. Uh, after talking with Filler, I do, and both players, I do genuinely believe no one was trying to make a move. So that's all I'm going to say about it. And uh, if there are mods in the chat, if there are mods in the chat and, and anybody gets out of hand calling josh a filler or joshua filler a cheater from last night's incident um please put them in timeout no reason to ban them but please put them in timeout we're here to watch this game and like i said after talking after melina mike talked with josh filler i genuinely believe that there was no angle being played there Mike's going to hang out with you guys for a minute. I'm going to step out of the booth. All right. Four, four, what? three, Oliver. Oh, Ruger, yeah. Four, three, Oliver. The spoiler. Yeah, he plays great, doesn't he? <laughs> Filler's in a bit of a tough matchup, to say the least. We've known about Oliver, and if you follow Post Up, you've been seeing him on streams for the last... Um, while now Oliver is a regular at, out at hard times and on the west coast so I remember the first time I uh walked in there to uh hard time seeing Oliver I think he was playing Joey Jabron and I'm seeing this guy and he looks a bit unassuming and uh I thought to myself who is this guy playing one pocket with Joey Jabron and then <laughs> it did not take long for me to give the guy the respect that he rightfully deserves so um, and since then, I've just become a massive, massive fan of Oliver. Um, unbiased, but, you know, I love seeing him do well just from a personal standpoint. So, um, big fan of Josh's, of course, as well. So, good matchup here. Good matches all over the room. Windows open. You guys can check out um, Vitaly and Lee Van. Roland Garcia is battling with... Who's his opponent? Maybe you guys in the chat can... 
fill me in. Ah, my buddy Max. My buddy Max Lechner. And then, of course, Nick DeLeon's playing Albin Ocean also. It's going to be... Um, it's going to be a long, uh, not a long day. It's going to be a good day full of great matches. So make sure you guys tune in. Hit the like, hit the share button. Get them out there to all the pool fanatics all over the world. So glad to be back uh, in the chat here. So Real flat break there. I don't know if that's how he's been playing i'll be honest i didn't get to see a whole lot from him um other than the end of the alex match of course i heard and and followed the score line of the of the federer match with oliver but i didn't get to see how he's playing how he's breaking i, I know what he can do with the queue you know i've seen him at the derby as well so i know how he's playing as of late um but of course we know how crucial the break is especially in 10 ball but you know if you're going to say there's any kind of liability in filler's game which there is not many um but and I, and, you know, he's told me the same thing right from the horse's mouth. It's his 10 ball break. You know, that's it, something that he doesn't play a whole lot of. Um, and so maybe that's um, that mixed in with Oliver's high execution is why, you know, we got a 4-4 match. So either way, we're in it, man. We're watching and we're sweating it. And you guys are all getting to, to uh, be treated to some world class play here. Yeah, I was. I, I've been in and out of the booth all uh, all day, so um, we've been um, helping do a lot of things around here, and had to jump out to go get some some lunch for the first time. Saw sunlight for the first time <laughs> in maybe about a week, so uh, that helps out. But. Yeah, Margaret, just message me. I'll be glad to unblock you. I don't know why I would have. Um, usually it's just if someone's being rude or disrespectful. It's usually I don't waste any time. I just do it. And, but if you send me a PM, I'll gladly uh, undo it if you message me at Molina Mike. Now you can check out the action. So Good safety there from Josh. It's tough to get at this ball without selling out. Oliver's, Oliver's got... Um, a snooker background, but he plays all games really well, including one pocket. Heavy favor to make contact, but what's going to happen after? I mean, it's a congested table for sure, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what he's got here at the edge of our seat. A lot of big wins are happening, man. I just finished posting a uh, ooh, look, well, a good hit. Look pretty good. Look close, but it looked good. Um, just got done talking with Billy. Posted that interview on Windows Open right now. Also, uh, got done talking with Shane. Just posted that little video. It's good to see Billy back. Beating Carlo is massive. He's an absolute monster of a player. But by far the biggest win for Billy. And, man, that I can remember, especially in this type of event. So... Good shot there from Josh. Getting perfect on this two ball. Doesn't want to. He's worried about the nine here and making sure he gets shape on the three. Yeah, he knows he's coming into it. I'm curious to see how he plays it. If he's going to hit it with a lot of. Maybe just trying to draw off of it. Aim for a nice thick hit on the nine ball. Comes right down. funny here this angle it's hard to tell whether or not it even passes the 10 if not then he's playing safe all the way of course but i'm just i'm not sure it's hard to get inside the mind of a killer uh, he's got to get some legs on it he sold out. He sold out. Big, big, big. 
so hard being on the rail like that and then you want to hit it thin there's a lot of balls that were you know in the way there so just trying to do a whole lot and we got to protect the cue ball so big opportunity from oliver you don't really see him you know, from watching him the way that i have um you don't really see oliver like everyone's gonna lose matches but i've never really seen him um well as i was thinking i already see him dog balls he misses that one so it was a tough shot no doubt but definitely expected to put that ball away drew joey's doing great um he just started a new job so he's kind of getting getting acclimated to that and and getting a rhythm there um and so he'll be back at it with me pretty soon i'm just kind of giving him his um his space and and letting him get letting him get comfortable but we miss him and we're gonna do a lot more shows gonna try to do a show tonight i got a few other projects i gotta tie up um to this afternoon so as soon as collins comes back i'll probably be getting out of here for a little bit but um yeah i'm i want to just get all my work done out of the way and just you know come out here and enjoy some good pool i'll be hanging out in the booth um through the rest of the afternoon once i get everything locked up so um yeah i'm i'm excited man i'm a fan i love watching these guys play i love watching 10 ball it's hard like at times when you have like these cookie cutter layouts and you, you're gonna get that when you have a good rack and things are all frozen but um you know the moving aspect i really appreciate and love and it seems like we're getting more of it it's been um <clears throat> it's been a ton of fun like just being able to check out world-class players and I i'll be honest i was i was um a little bit nervous about how the event was going to go just from the standpoint of a player field you know because following a long event like like the rio um i'd imagine a lot of players were anxious to get out of town so it's cool that a lot of these guys stuck around and and you know gave it a swing um so and you get like awesome stories you get a story like billy you get a story like you know oliver here you get these great things where like you think the game's gonna be chalk right you think it's supposed to be you know it's a longer race it's it's a traditional format you're gonna get the vogue names that are gonna come through and then you just have these guys who just come out with it and uh so it's part of sports it's part of why i love watching um and here we are josh is about to take a 5-4 lead over oliver All right, let me uh, get to work here. Update the score. SVB status. So SVB um, has won. He's waiting to play the hot seat match. The winner of Vitali and Lee Van. Maybe someone in the chat can let me know what that score is because I'm not looking at digital pool right now and I'm not looking at Windows Open either. So um, maybe you guys can inform me. Good break from Josh. Got a bit of a roll, but I think he might be straight on this one ball. It's hard to see how much he can cue, but I don't think he can get a ton on it 10 balls in a tough spot we're gonna be going non-stop today so over and over and over um music playlist yeah i'm not sure collins really does most of this music stuff i mean look it's it's um it's a balance between a situation that's a little awkward because you know you don't want to get copyright infringement and you don't want to get shut off on facebook and whatever so um you know we play these these songs on here in order to avoid that and so we just kind of have to you know fade it and if it gets too bad then i'll you know look around for something else to play but in the meantime we're gonna get a watch the end of this match here i want to see who's winning who's winning elsewhere though so i'm not gonna be I'm not going to be panning the camera just because I haven't really given this current setup any kind of uh, spin this event. I've used Collins' equipment before, but I'm just not too versed, and I don't want to dog it while we got however many people watching. So 
Let's see here. Albin's up 8-5 over Nick, Nick DeLeon. Good event for Nick, but Albin is doing Albin things. 5-4, Roland Garcia over Max Lechner. Lee Van Corteza, 5-2 over Vitaly. Quite a story there because he gets in the final of the Las Vegas Open, does not get an invite into the World 10 ball, and here he is in this field on his way to playing another hot seat match, it looks like. so. Who is that? Oh, yeah. Lee Van? Yeah. Lee Van didn't get invited to the World 10 ball? M Mike, you got you to gotta understand this is also a business, and they got a, a bar to run here, buddy, so just relax. Um, no, he did not. He did not. Politics, buddy. Politics in pool. You got to love it. So. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's that's actually a good point. There you go. Yeah, make sure and go like the Griff's. Was it Griff's Billiard TV? Griff's TV from oh, Griff's Bar and Billiards. So let me let me actually. That's a really okay. good point. I'm going to put it at the top of the video description. Thank Please you do. for the idea there. Uh, it'll be yeah. in the top of the video description of every video NJ, from now on. NJ pool player. That's the plan. We're just going to start hitting buttons here in a little bit. So completely butcher it. Francis, you have to actually play. I, I was about to make a joke that's not even funny because he plays so much better than I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say you have to actually play good, but he played. Francis plays really good. <laughs> Just not that good. Oh. Oh, okay. Leave yourself yeah, like, a little yeah, yeah, drama okay, with yeah, where the yeah. 10 ball's sitting, dude. Yikes. You got to play perfect speed here. Yeah. You're going to have one tough shot into another. Spears it in. One rail, two rail. Is it going to have legs? It's not, but he's going to have a shot. So if you want anyone shooting a tough shot for your life, you're not going to have to go very far on the list to get to Josh Filler. But it's still pretty tough. <laughs> Here we go for a, for a, a two-game lead, a sicko, never dude. in doubt. What a sicko, dude. Nice shot there. 6-4. Killer still alive. Big names already out of this event. Federer, Francisco, Aloysius, Carlo Beato. A lot of big names that you would have assumed would be here at the tail end of this event. A lot of big names still left. Okay, it should be updated, guys. Yeah. The link to the YouTube channel that the finals will be streamed on is now at the top of the video description. <clears throat> yeah, Tin Can Corner, we're, we're currently streaming this that you're watching on Post Up to that channel as well. So it's going to be this exact same setup and configuration and... and uh, same people on the mics, uh, unless we get somebody, a guest in here, depending on how things go, uh, for the finals. Which we will try to do. Which we will try to do. Yep. Make sure you go over there and subscribe. That's probably going to take place sometime around 9 p.m. Pacific, maybe? 9 or 10 p.m. Pacific, maybe? I would assume. Yeah, can you tell me where to find the video description at? Like where I can look at, find it? Below the video? In YouTube? On YouTube, below I'm the video. I'm not being sarcastic. Oh, it's right below the video. Yeah? yeah okay. Just scroll down, it's right below the video. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Get the lion in the booth. Hey, listen, Chad, that's a great idea. If Alex, oh, is, if, if, I would, if Alex is here, we will we I will would do, be like a kid in a candy store. We oh, will like, do, it would be like Christmas morning. To, to hang out with that guy. Let me text Alex. See if you see if you. I've never to talked go. to him before. No. Not like really talked. You know, I've waved. A 
couple times. Dude, yeah. don't be awkward. What do you mean you waved? I mean, I was like, hi. You gave him that Forrest Gump kind of wave? It was kind of like, you know, when you pass the cute girl in the in the high school locker room and you're like. Was that your move? The, 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 not the locker room, but you know what I mean? Like where the lockers okay. are outside and you just kind of right. go. Wow. Okay. Nice, that, buddy. I've done that probably nice. four or five times. Okay, beautiful. Well, congratulations. That's awesome, man. <laughs> well, listen, we're going to make your dreams come true if I can. Let me see if I can text. I'll see if Alex's still going to be around. I'm sure he will be. So. Uh, is Filler taking control of this match, huh? He's looking real disappointed with this angle here. Albin wins eight to, oh sorry, nine five according to Laura Berg. That's awesome. So it's gonna be Albin Ocean and uh, the winner here, right? <laughs> Gage. <laughs> Who? Oh, that guy from. Nick. <laughs> you know I got a video of that, by the way. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Shout out to Jennifer Rabbit. Yeah. This is when. This guy gets mm -hmm. super dangerous mm -hmm. when he starts hitting the ball like this. I mean, it's, yeah. It's like how he just controls tournaments. Yeah. He doesn't I've even just control the table. He controls times. tournaments. Yeah. Punches that ball out and gets perfect. <laughs> That's the exact, like, walk and demeanor that I saw, uh, over and over and over and over again at Derby City Classic. Yeah, no, he's haunted some dreams for sure. Yeah. That. All right, let me go. Oh, no, I can't. I can't text. Let me see. I'll find out. 7-4. Josh is getting closer. I'm going to quickly take us over to this other screen so we can acknowledge the help that we've gotten from our sponsors for the event. <clears throat> Big shout out to uh, Premier Billiards and, and Town of Town Tips, Town Chalk, yep. and now the Town Max Rack template we're using in this tournament and the 8-Ball tournament. Shout out to Diamond Billiard Products and uh, our title sponsor, Q-Tech. 1PKT. Let's go, 1PKT. Right there. Michelle Griffin, Realtor. Thank you all so much for your help and fast and loose designs, making all the promotional material for this, uh, these great events. And we are going to have some event shirts also, um, available. I think Priscilla sent me a bunch. Nice. So we'll be able to have some, if you're in the area, stop by, we can sell you one. Maybe we even, we can ship one. So, yeah. um, be on the lookout for that. I'll be posting those as soon as they come in. So nice. open table for Josh. And it may be all of them. It may be on the clock here. Yeah. I mean, have we even watched Oliver play in the last three games? Um. Yeah, I think he. Know, I know he pushed out one game, but whoops. That's a problem. Okay. I think he saw you looking at him. No. Did you see the way he looked? He looked up. No, like, there's a delay. No, he looked up at the TV for sure. He looked at the TV. No, he knows he's on TV. There's a delay. Yeah. Well, Lenny, I, I'm not sure off the top of my head where you can get a diamond T-shirt. I would assume that they have something on their website. Oh, if there's off any. the rail. Off, off the, the rail. rail. Yeah, there off the go. rail. Off the rail apparel is the diamond, like, shirt place to be place to go to yeah. yeah well if josh wins here i'm gonna go talk to him yeah with the camera on okay here we go this is the whole shot here the whole game Well, it must go because he's not even looking at going into it. Wow, what an 
nice shot there. Then cut on the nine, but very manageable for Josh. He's got one more tough shot. Sorry, I got to step out one more time. I'm so sorry. On the hill, let's take a look and see on digitalpool.com. See if we can find out some scores. Give a score update. 6-5, Roland Garcia over Max Lechner. 5-2, Lee Van over Vitaly. Only three matches in play right now. As we get to the business end of what's been a great tournament so far. Nice pop, but I don't think he's going to get a ball down. And he is not. That may be the last shot that Oliver Ruger takes in the U.S. Open 10-ball championship. A little bit of work to do for Josh, but... See if he can figure it out. Plays off the 7 and gets... About as good as you can get, all things considered. This is not an easy combo. You just got to bear down here. Ultra focused. Nice controlled shot there from Josh, and that's probably going to be rack winner. He's something else when he gets in this kind of zone. Great tournament from Oliver. Great story he's been the entire time. Really big fan of watching him play. He kind of let up a little bit on that one. Maybe he's not. Yeah, he should still be out. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Coming one rail out. Playing the six ball in the same pocket. Four balls away and they're all wide open. Josh Filler looking to move on here at the U.S. Open 10 ball championship. I'm not sure who he faces next. I probably should know. Let's take a look here. As he finishes off these last two. Wow, he's facing Albin Ocean. Next, you guys. Nice win. Let me see if I can... I'm going to start pressing buttons around here, so just hang tight. Let me see how much I can mess this up here. Okay, don't know who that is. Nobody's there. Don't know who that is. Nobody's there. Okay, let me go back here. Whoops. Don't do that, Mike. All right, let me see. Hmm. <laughs> well, let me see if I can get... I'll just unzoom. How about that? I know how to do that a little bit. Let me see. Let me switch here. Where is that table at? That table is right next to the TV table, I think. Okay, that's fixed, maybe. Okay, stop pressing that button. All right, let me uh, 
let me get Collins back in here. I'm not allowed to touch buttons too many, too many times around here, so I will zoom in a little bit on Max and Oliver, and we'll get you guys. I'm sorry, Max and Roland, excuse me. 6-6. Six, six. Hang tight, you guys. Two to three minutes. That was all, wasn't it just six to four? No, it's over. I need you to fix the camera. What happened? How did that happen so fast? It's called winning. It's tough. Still learn now, but next. Are we getting started right now? I don't know. We'll find out. Hi, yeah. Hi, yeah. Extra footage of the dude eating his lunch. All right. I like that. Let's get this chat off the screen so you guys can see the whole table. Let you guys watch Max Lechner. Great tournament for Oliver Ruger. What does he end up as uh, 9th through 12th in the U.S. Open? 64-player field. Pretty strong showing. Reducing some absolute killers, absolute destroyers to ashes. Billy Thorpe currently waiting on the winner of this match. Current score here is 6-6. Six to six. I believe we're going to roll right through to Albin Ocean and Josh Filler. And after that, on the stream table, we will watch Shane Van Boning versus the winner between Lee Van Corteza and Vitali, sorry, Vitali Patsura. Vitali, if I could speak. Here we go. His hair was perfect. Match was called on table 20, the feature table. This is not true double elimination. No, it's not a real hot seat. It's a single race to 13 in the finals. Roland Garcia with a Really tough shot here on the four ball. Yikes. Is the leave and match streaming somewhere? Yes, it's on a uh, windows open on Facebook. Actually, while we're waiting for the next match to start, I'm going to leave this on our secondary page here. Hang out with you guys in the chat. I believe the score was just set in the chat. I heard it's 5-3 to three in favor of Lee Van Corteza.
Why me? Why me? That's right, Beato is out of the tournament. Billy Thorpe dispatched Beato 9-1. to Billy said that might have been the best set he's ever played in his life. He said he just played really good and broke good, and every time he got an opportunity, he made he turned it into a win. Casey Looper, freedom! Alright guys, let's chill with the Hitler jokes in the chat, okay? One warning. <laughs> Have some taste. Oh, prop joke. Oh man, Max Lechner. The Austrian. Oliver's beanie versus Molina Mike's hat. Exactly. Current score. Uh, wait, seven to six. We're just hanging out here for a few minutes, guys. We're not dedicated to this match. We're waiting for the one last side match between Joshua Filler and Alban Ocean to start. It has been called on table 20. You can actually see. Melina Mike doing his interview thing with Josh Filler. I am assuming they're actually probably talking about the shot from last night. If you guys want to know what Josh Filler is saying, look out for the video on Windows Open. Yeah, you can definitely tell based on his body language that he's kind of beside himself about the situation. So look forward to that video in just a few minutes here on Windows Open. Uh, Joshua, Brian, I am going to swap over to the Albin Ocean and, and Josh Filler match whenever it starts. Sorry. Got to keep, since we're, <clears throat> pardon me, we weren't here for this whole match. I would like to get that entire match uninterrupted on video, so. Correct, Anthony Den. Correct. The only rule now is if you want to talk about it, you have to go watch that video that he's posting first. I hope Oliver can swing by the booth later. That would be awesome. I'm sure he's got some new fans in the chat out there. Alvin and Josh. Yep. Next. Yep. TV table. Alvin did you just the, did you just post that interview or are you posting it now? I'm about to post it right now. He talks about the match with Oliver. Talks I'm about sure. the event situation. I'm sure. Yeah. The whole nine yards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were just watching you record the interview. I'm, so. about, to, I'm about to put it on Windows Open right now. But. Yeah, people are going to check it out for sure. Yeah. Interview only on Facebook, correct, KL. It's going to be on Windows Open on Facebook, correct. How 
far is the booth from all the action? About 30, 40 feet, maybe 50 feet. Roland Garcia, Max Lechner currently sitting at seven to six in favor of Max Lechner. Max looking to get on the hill here. No, Kachi was not here. Eklent Kachi did not play in this. My voice sounds like it's from a DJ. Did you DJ before? No, actually, no. I did like show pop and and vocal jazz in high school and college. Brian Fay, I would say that Oliver Ruger is capable of competing on the same level, but uh, players like Oliver are... It's the fact that these guys play at that level all the time. They execute at that level all the time. So that's the difference where, you know, guys like Oliver, even guys like... Uh, like from my hometown, I could name a few of them. I could name at least two of them, other than Oliver, are capable of playing at the same level of these guys for like maybe a day in a tournament or a couple days in a tournament or maybe for a whole tournament, you know, and have a good tournament. But the difference is these guys do it all the time. Uh, some, to, the guy that was asking in the chat earlier about how far the, the booth setup is from the action. You can see my booth there on the left with the window next to windows open. You see my, my hand right there. Albin making his way to the table. Maybe not. Oh, grabbing his... Grabbing his firewood. Am I drinking coffee yet? No, I'm having a little Dr. Pep. A little Dr. Pep. That's right, Jerry. Yeah, 30x zoom, yeah. Filipino, relax. Come on. You don't got to call out other people in the chat and tell them how l lame you think they are because they probably feel the same way about you. So just leave it alone. <laughs> Be an adult. <laughs> Caffeine is not good for vocals. It actually is good for me because my voice is typically a little bit, like, higher than this. Not quite as bassy. And a bassier voice is better on the mic. Let's check out this uh, Lechner game. At least the break. I think Albin's on his way to, to lag with filler very shortly. Lee Van Cortez in the foreground right there. Don't forget that match is currently live on Windows Open.
<laughs> exactly, winning gamer. Yeah. Corteza and Vitali are currently sitting at a score of five to four. Very tightly contested. I had mentioned a tournament that I'm playing in June. I, I don't recall. I don't recall. That is a huge difference. Yes, J. Lewis, exactly. I think Alvin's just hitting a couple balls. Letting out the stroke next door. You can see he's, he's hitting them all kind of hard, getting the stroke in line. What rack are they using? Excellent question. I can actually show that rack to you right now. Once we get over to the table with Alvin and Josh. Next feature table match, Alvin Ocean, Joshua Filler. To be followed by the hot seat match. So we're going to watch the match between Alvin and Filler. Then I'm going to do a stream reboot and come back for the hot seat match. So don't forget to subscribe. So you know when we go live for the hot seat match. That's between Shane Van Boning and the winner between Lee Van Corteza and Vitaly Petsura. But yeah, the new rack is the Taum Max Rack. Taum known for their great tips and great chalk now known for the town max rack here we go guys josh filler gonna take it it's pretty clear that josh filler won that here we go. There's your max rack. You can see the shape of the holes that the balls sit in are round, the same shape as the base of the ball. So you get a much more even distribution of pressure around the edge of the ball towards the middle of the rack. It's also very easy to see the, uh, the spot. And to see the line that goes through the hole at the bottom of the rack. If you play on a table that has that line. So, looks like the rack is very, very, very tight. Layout decent, except for the fact that the one ball doesn't have a pocket. I'd imagine Josh Filler probably going to send the cue ball. Probably going to send the cue ball somewhere in this direction. I would think. It just got a little... There we go. Turn that off. Oh, scoreboard. I don't have a scoreboard. 
I have the wrong names on there. Great interview on Windows Open with Josh. You know what, guys? Guys, I'm going to let you watch the beginning of this match without me. I'm going to mute my mic and go watch that video myself. So in case the discussion ensues, then I can be well informed. Uh, and I just realized I don't have my phone with me. I got to go grab it. Back in a couple minutes. Okay, I'm going to watch that video right now, guys, so a couple minutes here. Hey, Sean, the score is still wrong. It's wrong again. Now the score's right. I'm only doing that because my mods are interacting with them too. Anyway, I'm still watching this video back shortly.
Okay, I'm only halfway done with the video, but I think it's pretty conclusive. I think it's pretty conclusive stuff. So. Let's get back to the match at hand. Uh, Alvin Ocean and Josh Filler trading blows in the beginning, both running out the racks that they've been uh, presented with quite handily. Real nice check side off the rail. A ton of action on the cue ball. Ten ball hanging in the side, but it's not going to be an early ten ball for sure. The way these balls are laying pretty much after this shot, the game is over. I mean, let's be, let's get real. Josh Filler doesn't. Josh Filler doesn't miss these types of shots. Uh, you're better to go watch the video on Windows Open. I, I guess if you can't access it on Facebook, the bottom line is he knew he touched the nine. Uh, but he's not used to playing the format of cue ball fouls only. Since we don't have refs in this event, he's used to playing formats with all ball fouls. So he'd seen other players move the ball, and then if it's only one ball, they just move it back or they leave it as it is. So he figured that that's just what the rule was, and since his opponent didn't call the foul on him, he figured that it wasn't a foul. And then he found out after the match he fouled, and he felt really bad about it. So it's, it's much better. It comes across much better when it's him explaining it himself. It seems very, very, very sincere. So. Yeah, go check it out. It's a good interview. Really good interview. Josh Filler gets out. Two to one. Boom. Huge break. Huge break. Holy crap. Second ball goes in. The left-hand side pocket. Two more balls. Fi find a corner pocket. Nick DeLeon is taken off, I guess. Waving through the window. Was beat by Alvin Ocean. But yeah, huge break. Alvin Ocean doesn't really have much of an opening shot on this one ball. Is he going to try to cut it down the rail and just cut the table with the cue ball? What I mean by cut the table is it's this, do this move with the cue ball. He does go after it. He does cut the table and he gets perfect. Real nice shot by Alvin Ocean. Seven to four in favor of Lee Van Corteza. Would you say the pros prefer having refs? Yes. I think that's a unanimous thing. Settles disputes, you know. Generally, it helps things run more efficiently as well, but uh, I mean, I think it really depends on... <laughs> what type of event and which refs you're talking about. Do the pros prefer a good ref? Yes. Yeah, the only problem with all ball fouls is, is it's as far as an event organizer is concerned, it's actually expensive because you, you really do need refs 
and and sometimes when you're trying to wow josh filler wow he's just so good at pocketing balls um when you're organizing an event you're trying to make the most out of your dollars and cents and uh sometimes when it's one of these call it big for a pool room small for a major type events it's just a little bit tough to make sense fiscally so hopefully in the coming years if this event gains more attention and and uh therefore is able to raise more money via sponsors uh it might certainly be within the realm of possibilities so we'll see how things go i personally believe that the u.s open events outside of the u.s open nine ball are um <clears throat> unfortunately very much overlooked in the industry because the disciplines aren't quite as possible as popular pardon me popular as nine ball um but uh I think we're headed in the right direction after this year. Where are we going? What do you mean, where are we going? You said we're heading in the right direction. Where are we heading to? <laughs> I would have to say a bunch of stuff that I just said ah. in order for it to make sense, so I'm not okay. going to say it again. Okay. That's good. It's good. It's good to know. Right score? Ah, 31. Josh is doing more Josh things, huh? You alright, big guy? I'm so good. Yeah. This is not the guy you want to get into a hole whenever he starts getting a rhythm. And if you're Albin, all you can do is just sit and and watch. See how he's break. How he's breaking him. Five, Five ball, ball down. Five one ball is gonna dress up. Is it? Ten ball ties up on the point. Is it? Can he see the one? The 10 ball ties up on the... Dude, hold give me on. that overhead. Hold on. The 10 ball ties up on the si point of the side pocket Ooh. as well, so even if you do get there, look at the 10. I don't know that he can see the one. He can't. That's awkward. That's a little tough. Where are you pushing out to? He's not really hesitating here, Mike. Huh. It's an interesting push then. <laughs> I guess you can see the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Fooled us, huh? Wow. Who hung that overhead? Dude, I don't know, but they did a great job. Oh, stop. Great job. Flawless. This is fun. Yeah. Look at that town Max Rack. Big shout out to them for sponsoring the event. Look at this. Both these guys, a lot of experience playing on polished balls, new cloth, all that good stuff. So really expect to see a high level here. Has, has there been a lot of misses to this point at all? Or no. just no? No. It's breaking runs, really. Yeah, good interview, man. I just watched half of it while I was on mute. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I talked to Josh yesterday, so I heard a lot of these same things. I asked him last night. I said, hey, do you want to, you know, I said, we can talk about it right now in two minutes, you know. And um, and so um, he was on his way out. I think he's staying with the Eastons right now. So, um, but... And I told him, I said, listen, you have a whole night. What's going to happen is the Internet's going to just jump on you for the next, you know, 12 hours, which they did. Yep. You know, and I saw at least a couple of posts and threads and all that. Um, and so, but, um, yeah, there's always two sides to every story, you Obviously, know. Obviously, yeah. Yeah. Yep.
If someone's pulling some moves, we ain't afraid to call them. But if I don't think that's the case, ooh. Oh, speaking of not missing balls and breaking and running, I told you that spot where the 10 ball was sitting sucked. You did say it and left the straight I left the bank. That it's just straight gonna, back. Yeah, yeah like, a, like a real reliable one rail. Now, new cloth. The rails that's, have been. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, rails yeah, are yeah. broken in. Yeah. The bed of the felt's not. Right. That's the bed only. Bed the cloth. It's in the hole. And it goes. Yep. That's the only if. Yeah. Rails are moderately broken in. Not totally. But mm. yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I saw someone in the chat ask, who are the commentators? Uh, we don't have any commentators here. Uh, but we got a streamer and a social media guy. <laughs> we got a streamer and an influencer. I hate that word. I know dude. you do. I fucking hate that word. <laughs> I know. Passion. My name's Collins Nui. This is Molina Mike. Right there. It's got a mic. That's, this is the Molina Mike right here. <laughs> there you go. Mike on the mic. Mike. We'll bring, it, we'll bring this back down a little bit. Yeah, cover up that face. Yeah, please. Cover up that purdy face. Face made for radio, buddy. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, just hanging out, sweating the, sweating the action with you guys, having some fun. God. Holy moly! Who knew he that? absolutely crushed him in the last break too. Wasn't how he was how he was breaking like that uh, a couple days ago. It wasn't yeah. like that. Yeah. I'll tell you. Is the match between Lee Van and uh, no? It's still going, Vitali. Yeah, I think they're still playing. Yeah, they're still rolling, rolling strong. <laughs> no one out, but I'm thinking he's just gonna play the smart shot here and just. Try to play safe. Yeah. You don't really see him make... Not that it was a bad shot. I thought it laid pretty good, the bank, but... Mm -hmm. He usually just plays percentages. Plays the percentage lease. There we go. I knew... I knew in my head, as I'm thinking about saying that word, I just... <laughs> I know you. I know you. And I know... Can't help myself. You weren't going to miss an opportunity. It's all right. Yeah. We got a lot of stories it's to a, tell over, it's a good over word. This, the course of this it's event. It's a good buddy. word you came up with. It, it is, is, yeah. We're going to see yeah. if we can get that added into the book. Yes, sir. We definitely can. Good oh shot, though. Oh, my God. I'm dogging it on the score lately, guys. Oh, my God. Twice in one match. I'm sorry. I've been killing the game all week for three days. I got hmm. nine more ahead of me. Well, I'll get it sorted out, guys. Sorry about that. We got nine more days? Yep. Nice shot there. Top of the table by Albin. No respect. We got nine more days? Yep. Yeah. Right. Hmm. He's sizing it up. I think he's going to go airborne here. Or a little spin. I kind of like the jump cue. And... Uh, Francis, no, the one pocket has room in it. Come on down, buddy. He's getting out the air rush. He's looking at the line to make the ball here, so. Return safe from Josh. Gets the hook. Now Albin gets the jump cue out. See how he executes. Tries to cut it in. Two ball holds holds the cue ball down there. I don't think he sold out a shot, though. I think he can see a piece of it. Hey, a couple quick shout-outs. Uh, I just saw this. Sorry sorry if it was overlooked recently. 
Um, shout out to Cameron Garrison and Bruce Johnson. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you for the love on Venmo. Appreciate it. Steve, did you send something? <laughs> Steve, if you did, stop it. Holy shot from Alvin Ocean. Real nice cue ball, real nice speed control. You can't need it any better. No. Steve, I did get yours, man. Thank you. You're the man. You are the man. It's like a stop out. It's like stop, 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 stop. Well, yeah, I mean, when you get in line, you play perfect. <laughs> Must be nice. Wouldn't know what that's like. Yeah. Yeah, I know you have no idea what that feels like. Feels great, Mike, mm. when it happens. Yeah. I would say one day, but... Probably not. No. Uh, Bucket Dad, yeah, my, I play out of hard times uh, and stream out of hard times. He's the house pro. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm the house streamer. House face. streamer. Look at this angle here. He's fine. Come out two rails. He said the point of the pocket acted funny. Or the rail right there. A little bouncy, maybe. Can you see what's what's the score update on a uh, Lee Van match? Do you know? I think Lee Van's on the hill. Oh, is he? Yeah. Let's watch this cue ball dance. Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. That shot. Confidence booster right there, man. I'll show you, you that shot. It is a variation of this shot right after he makes the 10. Top of the table from Josh. He knows. Green path is the altered path. White path is aiming center ball. Albeit, Albin's version was much tougher and blind. Who was that guy shooting in that video? Some fish. Mm. Mm. Great video, though, buddy. Oh, thanks. All right. 3-3? Three, 3-3. Three? Three to three. Let's I'm go. Just, I'm deliberately going just a hair slow on the, uh, okay. on the scoreboard because I've been roasted. Seven ball. Oh, no seven ball. Four, Four ball. ball. Six ball. You get a ball. Tough on the one. Josh does not mind letting it rip, but man. That's thin, thin cut. That's false. Steve, Steve, don't spread rumors, man. <laughs> Where did I cop that technology? I literally just edited videos and... It's extremely time consuming. I actually have six different shots with all different English. And it took me about 40 hours to put it all together. And I've shown you like five of them <laughs> in the last three days. But yeah, it was fun. And it's nice to have there. And I'm going to slowly build the catalog so that I've got it sitting there for discussion's sake. What English did I use to get the cue ball all the way around? In that particular shot, it was low left.
Hiller really taking his time here with the decision making process. It's quite understandable. We're getting towards the later stages of this tournament. Well, you know it's tough if that guy's taking his time. You know? Yeah. He's like the He's he, like the fastest guy. Yeah, I mean literally the fastest guy on the planet to play the game right he now. He processes so quickly. Yeah. Each video, Nate, only took me a few minutes, but it's just so many videos. It was like a total of, uh, what, it's eight times six. You know, whatever that number is, math. 56 videos? Is that eight times six? Oh my God, I've been watching too much pool. Numbers don't even exist anymore. I can only count 48? to 10 right now. 48. 48, there you go. 48 videos. And I'm streaming with uh, OBS. And my Excel says 48. <laughs> Everybody's letting me know how wrong I was. 56, 48. Good Lord. Close enough. Not really. Close enough to embarrass yourself. Yeah, that's all right. Playing the rail first here? Did he call the shot? Does it go? It does not go. What an attempt by Alvin Ocean. And now, uh, frankly, I, I've never seen a table more wide open than this one. And I know a lot about wide open tables. Ah. Probably more than anyone. Trophies are here. Hey, trophies. Cool. Let's see if we can get them out on a table and I can zoom in on them. Yeah? Eight to five, Lee Van. So, so Vitali Patsura pulling one rack back. Mark J says you should cut up each match into single videos and upload them to the to the channel. I'm actually doing that every day. And they're going to start getting uploaded tonight. I've actually already got the thumbnail. You want to see it? Let's show you the thumbnail. There you go. Those are going to start going up tonight. Probably four, five, six matches a day are going to get uploaded. So start uploading all kinds of YouTube shorts too. It's going to be a lot of content, guys. A lot of content. <laughs> that was Molina Mike, Penguins. He took the picture. Josh Filler finds a way to make it happen. Retains the lead again at 4-3. Matt says, Collins, how much super chat to get the match paused for 15 minutes while I drive home from work? Well, as long as you don't want to interact in the chat, you can do it for free. Just hit the pause button. Come on. Marty Cleaver says, bucket pockets. These are four and a quarter. They just got new cloth. These are not buckets. That's for dang sure.
the website that you were looking for, Pat, is uh, Windows Open on Facebook. The Windows Open page on Facebook. Are these two friends? I, they know each other well. They travel the world. You see each other all over the world. Windows Open is a, uh, Super Guppy, Windows Open is a phrase that, uh, for, like, betting. Like, if you want to place the bet, the window is open. Generally, like, referring to at the beginning of a match, the window's still open, and the window closes as soon as the match has moved far enough where the, the bet would change. Windows Open. Like horse racing, yeah. What a lockup. Lockup shot from Josh Filler. Looking treacherous. The five ball is a big ball going one rail off the top long rail. This is not there. This is there with a scratch on offer, potential scratch, but probably cue ball going this way-ish. Tough to know for sure with the conditions of the cloth. Goes two rails at it. And sells a shot. Either cut in the side pocket, which isn't bad, actually, because you can swing at the two ball. The cut in the side isn't bad. It's not great, but it's not absolutely horrible. You could also play the combo to reposition the one ball. For a breakout. He's going to miss the whole ball. Yeah. Ah. Send the cue ball at the four ball, obviously. Oh, and a scratch. Alvin's face says it all. Okay. Wow. And a wide open table. Youch. What round is this? This is one lost side. Loser takes seventh, eighth. For eleven hundred dollars. Eleven hundred dollars. Hey, David Sanchez, thank you so much. And Christopher Knowles, thank you so much. 
And we just got a new order on the merch store. Let's see what they picked up. Picking up that don't be a knit t-shirt. That's what I'm talking about. Don't be a knit, man. It says don't be a knit on the front and post up on the back. Lee Van Vitali still playing. Lee Van Vitali, Vitali eight to five, still live over on Windows Open. I'm doing shots out of the post-up coffee mug. Oh my god, the nine ball. How did that ball go in? Oh my gosh, talk about new cloth. Look at the look at the look of uh just head shaking, head scratching. Life just ain't fair sometimes. How does that ball fall in? Look at him. <laughs> look at them looking at each other and laughing. Oh, well, that's fun. Crazy. Just crazy. Hey, coming in with a $10 from Kenny R. Thank you, man. $10 super chat. Sounds like Lee Van Corteza just sent Vitali to the one loss side. Immediately following this match, you'll see Shane Van Boning versus Lee Van Corteza. We'll do a stream reboot before that match. And we'll go live on a new stream. For the hot seat match. Are we going to finish today? Yes. The plan is to finish tonight. Get ahead of the game. We got to get a, get a, get a, get a, get ahead of the game. Pretty close to the original lyric. Oh my god, this pocket is absolutely wrecking these guys. Same pocket, guys. Same pocket that Albin did the same type of bobble with, but it fell in for Albin Ocean. Brutal, dude. Plays the cue ball around the six, back to center table. And Alvin Ocean gets a gift. 
the go ahead five to four sh shortly. <laughs> Fat old guy. I love that, man. Sorry, streamer jinx. Oh, coming up. No, nah, he's not really coming up short because the two rail position towards the 10 is ideal. So I'll zip the lip on that one. Alvin takes a five to four lead. Take a look around uh, at what else is going on. I think Roland Garcia is hitting balls alone over there. SVB just chilling. Roland Garcia, quite animated. We're now getting down to the part of the tournament that basically we're usually waiting on one match, one or two matches. Albin setting up for the break. Billy Thorpe. Max Lechner. Ooh, I I am I am wrong about what I said about the Lee Van. I got my table numbers mixed up, guys. Lee Van and Vitali are still playing. I thought that Lee Van and Vitali were playing on eleven, so when they called the match on table eleven, I thought they were talking about the next match to be on the Windows Open stream table. Which would have meant that the Lee Van would have had to have won in order for that to have happened, but Apparently, they're still playing. My apologies, everybody. That match is still going. Table 11 is the table to our left as we're looking at the stream right now. And Billy Thorpe with Max Lechner just got called on that table. It's 8 to 6 now. Thanks for the info, Ike. My apologies, everybody. That match is still going down. This match, I'm assuming Albin's going to try to tuck this cue ball up near the two and send the one. Back down table. Uh, the pockets filler and Albin are playing under the tightest pockets of Griffs. No, that's that's not correct, John O'Connor. Uh, these are the uh, four and a quarter pockets. The tightest pockets are on the action table. I'll show you after the shot. We can pan over there. Wow, he sticks the cue ball, and the, the one's going to get to the good side of the three. Is Albin going to have a look at it through the window? Titus Pockets are over there with T-Rex. Yo, Alan B. coming in with a super generous PayPal donation. Thank you, Alan B. Alan Bono, you're an absolute legend. Oh no, it wasn't a donation. He's he's on the uh, he's on that merch store, so he's getting something out of it. That I like that even better. He just closed out through PayPal. That makes sense. Picking up one of those coffee mugs. And a zipper hoodie. Still the man. I love that. I love that. Th that's like one of the cool things about merch is not only do you get to support the person that you are following, 
but you also get something out of it. It's really cool. So the little combo here doesn't work out. I think he was trying to play the Tiki off the eight. Doesn't quite catch the eight thick enough. Getting a message in the chat that Lee Van just took down that match, which means our hot seat match immediately following this one will be Shane Van Boning versus Lee Van Corteza. Right as Ty Arnold puts it in the chat, Van on Van Violence. He's swapping the glove to his, his other hand. <laughs> what is he doing? He's swapping the glove to his other hand because he's shooting southpaw right now. The southpaw southpaw. Dr. Pepper is not my favorite drink. I'm just on a Dr. Pepper kick. He's like, I can't play right-handed. Hey, it's it's awesome that they're having fun together, man. That's really cool. Shout out Rewind Avenue watching from from Bakersfield, California. Right on. Welcome Bakersfield. Still goes left-handed, swaps the glove back. Gets the safe mostly. No, he left the ball. I think, he, I think uh, based on his body language, Alvin must have the whole ball here. Uh, my favorite beer is actually called Maja from Heretic. It's really good and really citrusy and juicy, strong IPA. Very full flavored. Uh, Make America Juicy again. Not only is it really good, but it has a hilarious name. PH Nation, go check out the video on Windows Open. There was an interview with Josh Filler. So he can he made his case for the situation. Nice, and someone just went to the post up merch store checking out that post up coffee mug. I'll tell you how good coffee tastes out of that mug. It's delicious. Little jump shot. Little short jump shot. Trying to nip the one and keep the cue ball behind the 10. Oh, the, the one went. I so, <laughs> eat my own words. The one obviously could pass the 10. No, he said he he knew he moved the nine, AZB Dizzy. Go watch the video. It's a good video. It's only five minutes. It's only five minutes. Windows open. Facebook page. That is a long jump shot if you try to jump. I don't know if you're going to go airborne here. The kick shot is not great either. The kick shot is less than ideal. It's, 
I would think if you go this way to the left, you want to catch the short rail first. Or catch it very thin on the way in. Shadow Nels, you're going to love that coffee mug. He does try to go into it two rails. Catches it thick. Leaves a thin cut in the side with maybe reasonable position on the three if it's possible to get the cue ball past here and like into this kind of line, but still really tough. Maybe the two ball passes. He's looking to see if the two ball will go. So the reason it was a foul though in the first place, the shot from last night, is because the, the ball, one of the balls that was moving on the table went into contact with the nine after he moved it with his stick. So technically it's a foul. But anyway, go watch the video and see how he, um, how he, uh, you know, feels in, about the situation. He, he didn't know it was a foul at the time. No shot clock, guys. Oh, the post up merch is at postupmerch.com. Do I? I think it's actually pinned in the comments at the top of the chat on YouTube. If you're on Facebook, it's postupmerch.com. Josh really taking his time here. I do not think this ball goes. And even if it does, it's so tight. It's probably not worth going after. Actually, I take it back. Hold on. If it, if it has half a pocket, it might be worth shooting at. Because you clip the left side of the three and the two ball goes like this. And you're safe if you miss it. But if you make it, you have a shot on the three just like this. That is next level thinking by Josh Filler. If it's, do you get what I'm saying? If it's half the pocket and you're shooting into a tight pocket anyway, you know if you miss it, the two's going to hit this side of the three, which would make the two and three, two goes like this, three ball goes this way, and the cue ball stops right here. So it's a safe if you miss it. But if you make it, you have a shot on the three because the three doesn't move. That is some serious strategy. And I think that's why he chose to shoot it into the tight pocket instead of try to play the two ball in the side with the tough position on the three. Of course we see that. <laughs> A few more people jumping on that, that post-up mug train. The post-up coffee mug train. Love to see it, man. Picking up a few post-up stickers for the cases. I love that you guys are having fun. That's really cool, guys. The post-up shot glass, yeah. The finals will be played today, yeah, barring a catastrophe.
Ooh, we got we got some fancy stuff on the table out here. Look at this, guys. Look at how hard he's concentrating. Melina Mike, you are on TV and you don't know it. He's so serious. Doesn't like it. Doesn't like what he's doing. Let's see how long until he notices. Josh Pillar down to break. Beautiful crystal trophies. He's an awesome influencer, yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Man is more focused than this camera. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Josh Filler trying to fall down. <laughs> oh, no, don't tweak the back. No, really? Tell me he didn't actually hurt himself. If he gets back up there, you better believe I'm going on that overhead. That was priceless. He's doing it. Cue ball so deep behind the eight and six. Very nice. Very nice. Ain't that old yet, yeah. Replay the slip. Is Alvin gonna jump this? Alvin's jumping here. I can see he took the rear the rear piece of his jump cue off that air rush. A little bit easier to get more vert, like get the ball to hop up faster if you have less weight behind the cue. But this is tough. This isn't only tough to get over the eight, but if you do, the cue ball has more vertical energy, right? Like the cue ball goes up faster, so it lands faster. So it has less energy as it moves towards the one. It's going to be tough to get a rail here, even if he makes the hit. Because the four is there. He has to cut the one to the rail and not hit the four. And send the cue ball underneath the ten. If he gets over the eight. Yeah, it doesn't hit the four real nice. Except for the sellout on the 110 combo, maybe? Gosh, Albin hit that ball really good. He got a lot of motion out of it. No 110 combo today. Once again, the one can pass the 10 into the corner, and Josh Filler's off and running. I would buy a Kevin Clark t-shirt. I got to get his picture to throw it on a t-shirt, and I have to have his permission. Who am I picking Lee Van versus Shane? It's like impossible to bet against Shane right now. It's basically, it's pretty much like I said before this match. Lee Van, in my opinion, after the break is moving better, moving better than anyone. Like making the best decisions uh, in, in like safety battles and stuff. 
and like developing the rack to, to his own favor. But the issue is the way that Shane is playing, Lee Van, if he breaks the way he's been breaking and getting out as easily as he's been getting out, Lee Van's not even going to get a chance to do that. So Lee Van will have to respond in kind on his breaks in the alternate break format. So uh, it's going to be tough. I think it's going to be tough to bet against SVB at this point. does get out. Nice break again from Albin Ocean. Six ball straight in the side. The one ball keeps ending up in a really similar spot for Albin. online betting for this no there's currently no online betting for pool in general unless it's a uh i think some matchroom events have had things but not for this event You know, if John Mora won earlier, I missed the match. Uh, he was playing against Alvin Ocean, so that means he did not win. Is Jason Sword in the chat? Big spot for Josh Filler. He's jumping for sure. It is possible to get on this two ball. It's possible, but tough. Very low percentage. But uh, you got to say that Josh is the favorite to make the ball. Instead, he's looking at a kick because the, the position on the two is too tough. That's not great either. You have to hit it perfect for the one to you have to hit it perfect for the one to end up like back down in here and and that's like i i like the jump because then you got uh if you make the one ball even if you uh run into traffic if you still end up on the table you've got to look at the two ball most likely where you can play safe there i just think playing safe from this kick is so difficult but you know leave it up to one of these guys to do it He called the side, and this is kind of what I'm talking about. You really had to hit the perfect part of the one. You really had to hit the perfect part of the one to get it to come, like, towards the balls that were, that were going to help you, you know? And, uh, yeah. Still, Alvin's got a, a tough situation here. Q-Wall wants to move away from the two. 
and there's traffic in that direction. So he's going to have to do some type of check side on it. <laughs> Molina Mike. Melina Mike just came to the window and gave me a really choice gesture. I'm assuming he just saw that he was on TV. It's not going to work. Four ball going to dress up over the pocket as well. And another tough shot for, for filler. Having to like slice and dice this super thin and put a teeny bit of inside spin on it so you don't end up getting covered by the three. Possibly, Steve. Possibly. Of course, of course, it was one of you that showed him. Awesome. <laughs> Chat's off the chain today. You guys are moving quick. Josh Filler, I just glanced away for a second, and Josh Filler misses position on the four ball. About as thin as you can hit a ball. Don't want to scratch on the side here. I Great a, shot, never in doubt. I got a couple messages a little bit ago. A couple? For what? Yeah. Why don't you tell me? What, that I was showing off the new trophies? That's interesting. Those weren't the screenshots that I got a little bit ago. What do you mean? The trophies were right in the middle of the screen. Oh, in the shot that I got, there was no trophies <laughs> in the screen. Really? Show me the picture. Okay, sure. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Let me see. I would think that Albin would go for some type of twist kick off the short rail here if he can see the short rail, but I guess the eight ball is covering the entire short rail. Hmm. Look, the trophies are right there. Oh, hang on. They're see-through, Mike. They're crystal. Huh. Coincidence. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Appreciate the love, buddy. <laughs> oh, he's going to miss oh, it. Boy, oh, he clips the four and leaves it in front of the hole. No way. No way. Been back and forth, huh? Yeah. 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 They they throw, they fire missiles at each other, and then, and then they bob and weave. You know. Josh Filler looks like in I the don't last, know what that means, but in the last few games, Josh has looked like he's kind of uh, taking the reins of the match a bit. Um, he's gotten the best of the uh, I wouldn't say roles, but situations. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. Yeah. Big spot in the match to get to get uh An get advantage. some fortune, yeah, yeah. Like, like a real advantage. Whoa, 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 where are you going? He said, "Come on, Josh, just cut it up the rail and go back and forth." Josh, the Derby would have already been on the nine ball. I yeah. know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm joking, by the way, guys. The, a, a lot of the time, the right shot is just pinning behind the nine right here. I mean. 
perfect. It lays really good. It lays really good for the shot, but I mean, Josh is the guy that why let the other guy back to the table if you're just he if seems you're like not in the miss. middle, like he doesn't know what he wants to do. Yeah. Appreciate the screen time, buddy. Anyhow. He's going down the rail, three rail position, and he's going to get, wow, nice shot there by Josh. He says that's good. Seven five. Talking about massive screen, game. Talking about screen time. <laughs> <laughs> talking about screen time. Look at those are we trophies. We're are just we, giving the trophies screen time. Are we going there already? Are we no, we're giving we the starting, trophies. Are we starting the week off like this? Or you know, we the went. The trophies we look went, good, we dude. Went, we went two days. Aren't we excited? Someone's excited by the look on the face there. <laughs> All right. I don't understand why. <laughs> If we're gonna have that kind of fun, no, don't do it, man. Don't know? Do it. Okay, I'll, okay, I'll stop. We can have that kind I'll of fun. Ki I'll stop. Okay, I'm just saying. You got jokes. I got jokes. I too, know buddy. you do. It's okay. Right. It's fine. All right, let's go. Seven five. Race to nine. They Win don't. and you move on. You lose and you're done in the tournament. After this, we got the hot seat match. Max and Billy are playing on the other table right beside this. this one. What a good time to have a break Look like that. Is the break. eight ball going to open up of the pocket? It and of it does. Of course it is. His name's Josh Filler. Draw out one rail for the four. Might even, be, it. might even be able to go forward and not hit the 10 here. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, it's close. And a guy like Josh Filler loves shooting that shot. Yeah, I think he's, those, yeah, he's, looking, at, he's looking at your shot. Yeah. 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 I love you guys. Listen. I love you guys. Me and you are going to have a, a nice talk here. I'm in a sure bit, we right? are. Over dinner. Are we going back to Herbs and Ryan? No, probably. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be too late for that. We're going to yeah, be you're probably late right. tonight. Tonight will be a late night. Yeah. All right, come on. Let's play some good pool. Let's have some good pool. Yeah. Chance to go to the hill, and he's looking pretty good. This is always like the long debate, right? It's like if you go on the one loss side, you know, you only got one... Um, one more bullet left, but you get you to play more pool. You and get a lot. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, especially a traditional um, double elimination tournament. Yeah. Josh is so funny when it, when a shot comes up like just a teeny bit less than perfectly ideal. He like he'll look up. He like kind of looks up and walks. He's you know who else does that? What's that? Like exactly like him. And the fans of this person will know exactly what I'm talking about. Who's that? Savannah Easton. She does. Does the same does. Yeah. exact she does. expression. She looks right up. Yeah. Very astute Look observation there. Please, yeah. please, get over get there. Get on over there. Get says. straighter. I want the ball dead straight in. I don't want a shot that I just make 99.8% of the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boom. Good quality match here, man. I mean, yeah. you know, Moscone Cup legends here playing 10 ball. Teammates. Teammates, for sure. Guys, they got a lot of respect for each other. Yeah, they, lo they love playing each yeah. other. You can tell, like, when funny situations come up, they're interacting. And, uh, I mean, multiple times in the beginning of this match, just a lot of smiles and laughs right. and stuff. He says that's good. On the hill. Albin looks impressed. You think? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Been racking on the template rack, that town max rack. 
Wow, Billy Thorpe, 4-1 over Max Legner. Billy's playing good. If he played that good against Carlo, there's there's definitely a possibility he can keep it rolling, especially if we're finishing the tournament tonight. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If you're doing it all in one day, if, if he's having a good day, you never know what. Whoops, what did I do? <laughs> How you guys like that? Look at that view. Yeah, cool. Got carpet. That's what you get when you just you press one wrong button around here. Can't take you anywhere, buddy. Look at that break by Albin. Wow. Five ball just opened up off the seven as well. I've never seen him break ten ball so good. Honestly? Ever. I don't think I have either. He's breaking yeah. great. Like that second ball is just flying into the side pocket, and the balls are just perfectly symmetrically opening up. Decent speed, keeping the balls quite spread out. Some good stuff. One ball, obviously, and this one dressing up over the corner. Good night, Irene. Mm -mm. Oh, he's good. One thing I like about Albin is you don't got to wonder where he stands when it comes to emotions. Yeah. He'll let you know. Yep. Dude. Sorry, <laughs> Come on. Sorry I'll, I'll move it. Come I'll, on, man. I'll, I'll just hit the alt tab and there's yeah. Mike's face looking it's right back at me. Coincidentally, right? Coincidentally. <laughs> just happens to be right yeah. there. A little bit of inside here to get on the four. Oh, in a must-win rack. I didn't even see the oh. four. He hit the ball thick. Look, he hit the ball super thick, he and the did. cue ball slowed down. Not, not like this, Albin. No. <laughs> he hit the ball real thick. Where'd Filler go? He's probably sitting right here. There he is. Enjoying the view. Can he see the four? I think he can. I think he just got there. Oh, my God, he did. Yeah. Bit of fortune there, man. If yeah. He, if he comes back to, you know, win the match, that's, that's going to be a massive turning That's why he had the, point. like, kind of, like, head, like, face scratch head shake because he knew he got there and got pretty yeah. lucky. When are we going to see me match up with someone? Well, I've been trying to match up with someone for a while. Can't find anyone? <laughs> I've been begging. Bukasi tour. Me and you, big boy. All We're right. going to play some, that's for sure. <laughs> we played some the other night whenever we got here. Yeah. How'd you that do? That was swell. <laughs> How'd you do? I did great. Good shot there. There's actually a shot on Windows Open. You hit that shot really good. <laughs> you did. You did. Yeah. That was fun. He was reaching in his wallet but before the night was out, though. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Taking his time. Can't afford any more mistakes. Kind of got perfect. Josh is going to say that's good. Yeah. And Josh is going to try go, to just I'm not let to go, him back to the table. I'm about to go give these boys a yellow card for giving up 10 balls here. Yeah. As Shane is waiting in the wings, Roland Garcia sitting by. That is a beautiful sight right there, man. Look at all the lights reflecting. You can see the great camera, buddy. The layout of the lights above the table. Yeah. I'll just leave the camera right here. I'm joking. All right, here we go. Seven ball. Nine One ball is going to dress up. No, it, is. no, it yeah, isn't. Yeah, it is. No, it isn't. Oh, no, it's not. Oh. oh. Whoa. If he has a shot, it's game over. Now. Look at that. Alvin's got, <laughs> he's got a little smirk on his face. He knows. He knows he got a little a little fortunate there. I told you, you don't ever you never have to wonder where you at, where you stand with him. Yeah. 
Sorry for the camera struggling to focus. It's a little dark in the room. Look, first the roll to get on the four ball. Yeah. Then the five ball comes into play. The pull gods can be a little... They can be jokester sometimes. As Sick. Daniel as Daniel Maciel is warming up in the background, he faces the winner of this matchup that we're watching right now. I'll probably have that match streamed on Windows Open as the hot seat match is going to be here on Post Up. On this stream, yeah. The whole room is watching. The finals will be today. We're playing yep. through it. We're going to be crowning some champions. Let's see. Let's probably finish this match just before 4 o'clock. And we have how many rounds to go? One. Two. Three. Four rounds after 4 o'clock. So we'll probably be finishing up sometime between 10 and midnight depending on how fast the matches go. Uh, alternate break format tends to lend to the longer match. But uh, that's probably between finishing up between 10 and midnight Pacific, mm -hmm. I would think. Most of the guys are pretty efficient. Yeah. You know, there's well, like I'm just saying if it goes hill-hill right. for uh, most of the matches, probably closer to that's, midnight. That's, that's not going to work. Could not have gone any worse there for Josh. And if you're a fan of Albin... You got to be loving it because in a few minutes it'll be six, seven, I'm sorry, seven, eight, and Albin breaking. Oof. Oof. Cat all because that five ball just rolled up. Yep. <coughs> nice shot there. Center table. Not a whole lot to do for Albin. Score of the match for Billy Thorpe coming in at four to two. Winner there plays Vitali. Winner here plays Daniel Massial. Yep. And after this match, we'll have Shane Van Boning versus Lee Van Corteza for the hot seat match here on the stream table. Or the feature table, I should say. There are plenty of stream tables. Just sitting here admiring, you know, the run out, man. Yeah. There's not much else to do. Yeah. You know, you know, both these guys are closers, too. You know, so it makes it just that much more. These little funny things that happen or because it wasn't a mistake. Right. He broke the balls. Great. Yeah. But just this. The, the five ball coming in like right. last moment and just glue into the cue ball. Boy, oh, boy. I got to tell this you, This is man. one of the things about pool. Sorry to cut you off. No, you're good. One of the things about pool that I love especially being somebody who let's say is definitely okay with a gamble every now and then mm -hmm. uh the fact that it's such a high skill cap game it's like an infinitely high skill cap game meaning like the level of skill just goes on forever possibly right but then no matter how good you are at the game because it happens on such a small surface area relative to other games like golf or tennis or whatever, right? Right. It happens on such a small surface area, but there are so many variables. The how many balls there are on the table, the the table layout, uh, frictional issues between balls when you're talking mm -hmm. about skids, mm -hmm. uh, frictional things between the balls and the rail, balls and the table. There's just so many variables that luck is inherent in the game. It cannot be outrun. It is impossible to outrun the luck. And so because I love that, like, it's sport. It's it's the perfect match between proficient skill like golf and tennis and the gambling side of the world of, you know, the best players in the world of poker make a living out of it, but they can't outrun aces getting beat by ace king sometimes. You know what I mean? Right. And this happens in pool. It will never go away, no matter what rule structure you create. 
And I think that's beautiful. Look at the one ball. Dr- Look oh, at what we're talking it about. Did not dress up. The one Look at ball what we're talking back. about. He's gonna have to jump. You can't he push. broke those balls great. Yeah. Cue ball got a little bit far from the center of the table, but yeah. It giveth and taketh away. Yeah. He's laughing, you know, because it came back around. Yeah. And you never know when the luck is going to Well, you know, it's funny because I've talked to a lot of players like following big wins, you know, and they'll all say the same thing. And it's not them. I mean, part of it is the humility. Right? Sure. But it's it's true. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. There are moments of greatness where the luck doesn't come into play for an extended period of time. Things that come to mind, Josh Filler at Derby City Classic this year. Uh, uh, Koping Chung versus Aloysius Yap at the U.S. Open last year. Suffocating. Yeah. yeah. It's just like sometimes you get moments of greatness where it's like they really do control everything on the table. But at some point you have to admit that they did fade the bad luck because it's so inherent in the game. So anyway. Nice jump shot there. Fantastic. Barely... It's Alvin like so said, close to the six ball. sometimes you got to make your own luck, buddy. Yeah. Not out of the woods yet, though. I'm sure that's true, New Jersey pool player. I'm sure that's true. He says Collins would improve his Fargo if he didn't overanalyze everything. I'm sure that's true. You over overanalyze? Yeah. Huh. First time I've ever heard that about you. Interesting. Big shot. Big, big shot here. Yeah, do your thing. Give me a... All right. Mr. Newey's going to take a little break. Siding into the match here. Alternate break. This is on Albin's break. 7-8 in a race to 9. One loss side action. U.S. Open 10-ball championship. Good shot there. I wonder what he's going to try to do. Usually players like Albin don't like to go into balls at all unless they absolutely have to. So I think he's going to try to play for the window. Just wants to be exact here. One rail out. He's perfect. He doesn't look tilted, so I'm thinking he's good. I'll probably go around to take a look at it, but I don't know. I guess he's good. Nice shot there from Albin. Draw into the seven ball, it looks like. Or just hold. Ooh. Okay. Used all the pocket on that one. He's going to have to come across. Can feel attention in the room. Exciting stuff. What we were all hoping for. And it's only going to get better. We got a lot more matches in store for you guys, including the hot seat match. Lee Van Corteza, 
Shane Van Boning coming up next. They're waiting here in the room, watching this match, sweating it like all you guys. Big seven ball here. Oh, 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 wow, wow. Three or four shots that have, where is his face? Three or four shots that have, uh. He's cool as a cucumber. Bobbled and fallen. He was only, he only hit it two and a half diamonds up. He's good. Oh, there's a boot in the way. A box, anyway. Just draw the ball over. Yeah. Like so. I'm trying to reshare. Are you, are you going to restart? Mm hmm. After this? After this match, yeah. I'm okay. at 5 hours, 30 minutes. I'll need, a, okay. I'll need 10 minutes or 5 minutes before the next match. 5 minutes. Okay. So make sure hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Keep your notifications on. We got Hill Hill action Unreal. after this match is over with. Collins is going to reboot the stream, so you're going to want to refresh. Make sure you're subscribed and uh, be ready just a few minutes afterwards to find the new stream. It'll be similarly titled. Same thumbnail. But you'll see the live, the little red live thing in the corner. Make look, sure you're looking out for that. It all goes back to that, to that, uh, whatever it was. Four to the five, four to the five. Following, the, well, four to the five first that Albin thought he, he came up short on. Oh. Followed by the five ball that came in to play the next game. Then Albin gets the jump and runs out. And now here we are right. at Hill Hill. So Wild. Here we go. Pull out the popcorn, guys. Let's go. Everything on this match, or sorry, on this game. World class. All in. Six million. Eight ball down. One ball's going to... Get kissed back to center table. And Two ball course, down. Five ball down. Look, you make one shot, you win here, buddy. One shot, you win the match. Yeah. Same channel, same bat time, all that good stuff. Just give us a few minutes. Collins will do his thing. And then we're in for the long haul the rest of the evening. All right, here we go. No pressure, right? God, he just, he j it's just it's effortless. No That's question, ridiculous dude. the way he hit that ball. He knew what he had to do. Wow. Okay. I just like. I, I wish, dude. I, it just looks like so much fun. Unbelievable the way he just got down on that ball. Filler doing filler head things. Shake. I think I think it's because of the stretch more than anything. Well, you know what's funny earlier when I was taking those photos of the of the things, right? Yeah. The trophies. Yeah. Um, he was stretching over a ball, and I don't know if you cut it on camera. I Maybe did. you were too busy, but he hurt his back. No, I I had the overhead of when he was. Up yeah. There. Yeah. yeah. Look. I know you were busy cool. doing other things, but. Yeah. Okay, is he going to try to play above the nine ball here? Yeah. Okay, well. You got to go above the nine ball here. Here we go. Big shot. One, two, three, four rails. Three rails. And an angle to get out to the nine. It's not even fair. It's not fair yeah. that he just landed right on the rail yeah. right there. Just make the ball. Make the ball, and he did. This has been an unbelievable ending to this match. And that's going to be all she wrote for Albin Ocean as Josh Filler has one more 10 ball to put away. Albin is not giving him this one. No concessions <laughs> here. Yeah. No concessions here. You know who your friends are, as my buddy Oscar would say. Yeah, and that's exactly. it. Tap, tap, tap. What a match, guys. Handshake, smiles. What are you going to do? You know? Yeah. The guy just break and run. That's it. All right, I'm going to go start the filler in my all match on Windows Open. Okay. Reboot this one. We'll be back in live soon, you guys. Yeah, we'll be back in just three to five minutes or so, so don't go anywhere. Go, go refill your drinks. Pop the popcorn. Settle in for SVB versus Lee Van Corteza. Thanks for hanging out, guys.
We'll see you soon. Oh, real quick before we go, shout out to the sponsors. Title sponsor of the event, QTech. Thank you so much for uh, making this possible or helping to make this possible. One PKT. Check out that merch, especially when it comes into town for the One Pocket event. Uh, Premier Billiards. All your billiard equipment needs. Michelle Griffin. Uh, realtor, if you need some help with some real estate. Fast and Loose Designs, thank you so much for the promotional material. Diamond Billiard Products, always doing good things in the industry. And Taum, with Taum Chalk, Taum Tips, and now the Taum Max Rack. Template Rack. Is Amanda in the chat? I love you, Amanda Miller. Uh, have a uh, fun time for the next few minutes, and we'll see you guys in just a few. Peace.